Tommy who didn't miss me. I'm sorry for that. Can you guys hear me? I don't know what's happening if this is working. Matt, can you hear me, my darling? You're not my darling, I know, but, you know, it's figure of speech. Me is back. Yay! Thank you, guys. This is so cool. Uh, you can hear me? Awesome. All right, give me one sec while I quickly do something, which might be a little bit strange. Um, yes, just give me one sec. There we go. Just give me one. Sorry, guys. Okay. Anywho, back to what I was saying. Um, yeah, I woke up this morning feeling like absolute shit. But um, I feel a little bit better now, which is good. There's always room for improvement with my this old gal. I hate when people, I used to hate when people did that to me as a kid, so I don't know why I do it now to see if I can annoy other people, but or when people go for those who live in Australia, we used to have this children's program called Skippy. And for some reason these could, kids could understand what Skippy was doing when he went So um every time Someone would do that to me when I like up until recently. I'll be like, Yes, Skippy, is little Timmy stuck down the well, or is little Jimmy, or whatever. But the thing is, though, it would annoy a lot of people, so they'll be like, Or I'll call him, uh, you know, the Skippy, <laughs> the Skippy Fornicator. That sounds a little bit better than the other F bomb now, doesn't it? <laughs> um, and it's annoying because people get annoyed at me, they're like, Really, Tammy. Oh, I couldn't stand it. I'm sorry. I used to like watching um, like Dot and the Kangaroo, Dot and the Keto, Dot and the Whale, and it was a cartoon about this little girl who would go on massive, amazing adventures with a kangaroo, and yet her parents didn't care. It was amazing. Oh, it's okay, Penny. I'm sure it's okay. But I watched. I used to watch like things like Blinky Bill. I used to watch uh, very, very, very rarely Murder, She Wrote. Now, here's the thing with that show is that's what inspired me to when I was a kid to be a writer because I thought, hang on a minute, this woman's just an everyday writer and she gets involved in all these cool cases and, mind you, I was only a kid too. So I used to think that's what I want to be when I grow up. Well, I'm growing up now and I can hardly grip my bloody phone, let alone do other things. But, yeah, so at the end of the day, we all learn that writers don't suddenly get to go into all these different kinds of weird cases, especially, you know, about murder. Just because you write about it doesn't mean that the police are going to go, oh, hello, Miss Random, writer of our hometown. Please feel free to come into our uh, murder scene and potentially contaminate it. I know, Matt. I only need, yeah, apparently um, Trent is going to be number 400. So Van is working as fast as her little fingers will let her. So Trent can come the 400th, uh, 400, sorry. Yeah, I said that. Subscriber. So if there's anyone in here who wants to beat Trent to it, be my guest. Trent is always welcome in my chat as well, but I'll just, but at the same time, I don't want Van's efforts to go to vain. So, you know. Um, like I said, I I don't know. I just, like, when you look at TV shows. Now, I'm, I live in Adelaide, Australia. Um, yes. No. Yes. Stephen King scares me. And not in the way that, like, oh, I'm going to hide under my bed and hide from the boogeyman scares me. Just scared. Oh, no, I was just saying that you were um, sorting out Trent's email so he could become my 400th subscriber. So it's all good. So it's right. You didn't do anything. You didn't do anything wrong. So relax. But like I said, I just find, like, when I was a kid, I used to watch this show called Couch Potato. Now I appeared on that show. One time. Now, I didn't read the book. I just read the background, the back of it. 
to try and understand what happened. I wanted to do um, – it was uh, My Hairy Adventure by R.L. Stein. And let's just say that I sucked. Because when you don't read a book and you're doing a book review, it doesn't really go down very well. Uh, his prize, he is, uh, well, I don't know. He gets a massive congratulations and a well done and a welcome to my, he gets the same treatment everybody else does. I'm not going to single Trent out because it's, when I hit my 1,000 subscribers, on the other hand, whoo, that'd be scary. Uh, your prize, Trent, is a big hug from Van. And then that can be from me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not much of a prize, sorry. I suck at giving away stuff. But no, like I said, I wanted to interview, I wanted to review the book called um, Jody's Journey by um, Colin Tilly. <clears throat> and the other says, no, he doesn't get a prize, sorry. No. Oh. The prize is I'm not using his stream yard anymore. I've signed up to a monthly deal for myself. So I'm pretty stoked about that. <laughs> but um yes, Matt's keeping an eye on when I hit the four hundred if he's still in here. I don't know, but I'm sure he is. Yo, baby blondie, welcome back. I'm so sorry about that. I just didn't want to be halfway through my um my live at any point and then I'll be up to a crucial bit of info and then I run out of the 20 hours I get free Ooh, with StreamYard. So I thought, well, I haven't been shopping yet. I will upgrade. Thank you, Matt. You're a sweetheart. Uh, Fish Girl, welcome back too. Thank you all for coming back. Like, you guys could have all just said, well, no, mm-hmm, you know, we're not coming back. No, 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 no. So, I, like I said, I do appreciate you all coming back. Now, let's see how this is going to work. Give me one sec, please, guys. Okay, that's not going to work. That's annoying. Okay. Okay, that's, that's annoying. I'm doing the upgrading of the overlay. But, yeah, it's not actually letting me – that makes sense. That's weird. So I don't know what's going on. I shall remove all that so then that would be a little bit easier for people who are choosing to come in here at any given time. They know me by name, not by whatever that's said along there. So – Got my name and na 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 na. It's all good. <laughs> but no, thank you for the ones who were listening before, and then I decided in the middle of a, a stream to upgrade <laughs> to a paid uh, streamyard service. For those who came back, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Like I said, you didn't have to, but the fact that you said you would and you did, brownie points and a big gold star. For everyone. <laughs> hey, Van, remember that picture, one of the pictures I showed you last night of someone in that particular kind of top? I'm hoping that that's not the case tonight. I'm freaking out. <laughs> but we won't go into that now. We shall just talk about whatever anyone in chat wants to talk about until my guest appears. That's all good. And even when he's here and you want to talk about it still, feel free. Um, oh, hang on. I actually have an idea. Give me one sec, guys. Oh, man, how am I going to do this? All right. Oh, 
wrong. <laughs> it's all right. But like I said, it comes down to choices, what people's choices, if they want to stay, if they want to go. But um, I'm trying my hardest to create a panel or a channel where I can talk about absolutely whatever. You know what I mean? There's no, oh, Tabby's talking about Chris Watts tonight. That means that there can be no room for other comments. No, that's not the case at all. If you have a comment or a, something you would like to talk about, oh, <laughs> it was 399 before, Miss Van. So all good. Thank you if you can hear me, Trent. Thank you so much for joining my channel. Very much appreciated. I know I'm not one of your favourite people. If anything, I give you a migraine at the best of times, but thank you. Thank you to everyone, all nine of you that are in here chatting away and for those who are not chatting away, thank you for being in here. I appreciate it because at the end of the day, you don't, like I said, you don't necessarily have to talk in my chat to be heard, so to speak. All you have to do is do what Fisher Girl 68 just did. If you don't want, you don't have to talk. You just have to make it known that you're here. So then if, um, like I said, you don't have to talk, but it would be nice to be able to go, like, come into a chat and go, hey, Matt, hey, Van, hey, Fisher Girl, hey, yo, baby blondie, hey, Dave, hey, whoever who's in here and address you by your name. So even if you don't want to say anything, just put a symbol like a heart or a wave or anything like that. Matt, did you get that um, email I just sent you by any chance? I don't know. Because I don't know how this works. Ah, na, 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 na. Because I've never done it the way I just did it then. <laughs> oh, thank you, Penny Blake. That's very, very, I'm definitely here. Thank you, Penny. Sorry, I just read that as a giant, like, oh, I'm definitely here. I don't know. Um, you know, bit effed in the head at the moment. You know, too much sleep. And well, not enough. Take your pick. No, but like I said, for those who are in here, thank you from the bottom of my heart actually supporting me um, to reach 400, to reach 200, even to reach 10 subscribers. We'll go way back. Um, it actually means so much to me, you know, because like I said, I don't want my channel being full of negativity, full of shit, full of crap, whatever you want to call it. I want my channel to be one of those ones where you can come here, you can let your hair down, and you can have a good time. Yo, baby blonde, I'm at work, but I'm listening, and I will definitely try and respond and chat when I can. That is beautiful, yo, baby blondie, but at the same time, honey, I don't want you getting in trouble. So if you just choose to listen and then all that, that is completely fine. Thank you for your support. I do immensely appreciate it. Oh, okay. That's cool. That's all right. Whenever you want to click on it, Matt, I'll be up here for a while. I've got unlimited streaming now. <laughs> but um, I hate when I go, okay, this is weird of me to, yeah. But for what it's worth, I hate when I go into places and you think that when you read something, you think, oh, that's really cool, 20 bucks a month. And then when by the time you click on to it, oh, it still says 20 bucks a month. But then when you go and check your balance on your bank, uh, on your app, banking app, it turns out that you're charged 35, which I guess I'm fine with because at the end of the day, you know, it's something that I'm wanting. It's something that I'm finding that, like I said, I only wanted to use the my own stream yard, but temporarily on the free side of things is so then I could see if people were actually interested in things I had to talk about. So, It'll be all good. Hello, Emu. That's, 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 that's okay. I, I'm sorry. Um, I don't think I've seen you in here before, Emu, but welcome. And how's it hanging? Wow, Emu's Australian, I'm guessing, because no one else uses the term, how's it hanging? Oh, Oh, cool. Oh, you're a nurse or a doctor, your baby blondie. That's awesome. Oh, Sharon, how are you going, sweetheart? I hope everything has um is being okay. And because I messaged you the other day when you told me in another chat about something, and um, I think you told me in PM. I'm, 
I'm going to say it's bleh, but I hope everything's okay. Van, who's emu? Oh, hello, Trent. Hey, Dylan. Welcome to my chat. As soon as you wrote that, Trent, I knew straight away it was you. But the name Emu? Really? <laughs> oh, far out. Hello, my name is Trent. But I, but my mates call me in chat world Emu. Mm, that sounds really manly. <laughs> but welcome, Trent. Hey, Trent, you want to be a mod? Let me know. Um, <laughs> you can, <coughs> but thank you. Yes, I'm actually quite stoked at my intelligence right about there that I figured out with even no, my <laughs> oh, oh, that's cool, yo, baby blondie. That's awesome. Well, I'm okay, and I'm glad to hear that. Um, Sharon, that's um, that he's picked up a lot. I'm really, really happy to hear that, sweetheart. Okay, hang on. Oh, shit. I can't actually do that from here, Van. Hang on. I'll see if I can do it this way. Hang on a second. Nah, I can't do it from here. I'll have to go back into chat when the chat's over. And Oh, he doesn't want to be mod. Fine. I see how it is. <laughs> see, you could read that one of two ways. Yes, make him mod, go for it, or potentially get on his bad side. Um, that's okay. Relax, fan. It's all right. Matt, if you're still in here, you can do it, but don't because Trent doesn't want it. So um, it comes down. But just think you can block whoever you want. No, actually, maybe not. No, no, no. But, no, I am very glad that he's improving, Sharon. That makes me very, very, very happy to hear that because you deserve happiness, my sweet friend. You are one of the few who has actually listened to me when I've wanted to vent, regard, you know, and you are a treasure to me and I actually hold you. Yeah, but you can't now, Matt, because uh, Matt. You can't, Trent, because you don't want to be a mod. And if you went and blocked people, my dear, dear friend, you'd probably um, block everybody and nobody would be in here. And then my channel would suffer. But the offer's there for when um, Van can't be mod and everything like that and you're wanting to be mod. You know, you could actually, you're a lot like me, Trent. You could actually read between lines where someone can say to you, yeah, hey, um, hey, Trent, how you doing, man? You could be like, oh, yeah, I'm all right, buddy. How are you? And I don't know why I'm making you talk like that, but anyway, and then he could go, oh, yeah, I'm fine. But here's <laughs> – thank you, yo, baby blonde, thank you. Trent is cool, but Trent's the kind of person like me who if someone says that they're fine, Trent will read between the lines and actually figure out exactly what is going on with them. He might not show that he's doing that, but I watch his mind tick over when he's on – lives and even when he's not and he's actually saying something to van um and for me it's beautiful to see and like i said i see that he's actually say if someone goes yeah, yeah i'm fine i'm fine i'm fine like i said trent <clears throat> trent will be the kind of person who if he doesn't feel it in his gut that you're okay he's not likely to believe that you're okay but that might be just me being wrong i don't know you know, hang on, Matt, is is Trent a mod now? I don't know. I don't, I can't tell. Yes, Trent is cool. You're very welcome, Sharon. Well, Sharon, please, anytime you feel like you are going to shut down, and it might get hard, and there's no denying that it, you know, life is hard in general. But for most people, um, I appreciate the fact. Well, I appreciate that you're here a lot, and I want you to know that if you ever, ever need to talk, 
the time difference between an I, you and I love is a lot. But if you need me, please know that I am here if you need me, all right? And we had an awesome phone call a few weeks ago. You allowed me to vent, and I do immensely appreciate that. So please, by all means, hun, if you ever need to talk, I'm here to be your extended olive branch all the way from Australia. Yes, okay. Here is my terms and conditions for mods. Do not block someone because you simply don't like them. That's my job. <laughs> also, if you find, okay, this is the book. Thank you, Sharon, and I mean the same to you. Anytime you need a friend, I will be here. Um, also, like I said, uh, Emu, that's a really weird. Oh, what? You can't be out because I'm not going to let you block anybody who's anybody. Well, if you do, um, yo, baby blondie, for what it's worth, as much as I would love to meet every Tom, Dick and Harry who wants to meet me, it comes down to there's not much in my home, in my home, as in my state, that really makes you look, uh, yeah, behave, Amy, that makes it look like, oh, I'm so glad I went there on that holiday. For where I'm from, it goes along the lines of, oh, man, I wish I avoided there. So it's up to you, though. Oh, thank you, Sharon. Very, very kind of you. But, um, but like I said, I'm hoping. <laughs> hey, Van, guess who I might be joined by a few of you? <laughs> Put my teeth in and tighten them. Guess who might be up here on panel with me later tonight, Van? <laughs> oh. Oh, wait till she responds to that before I answer it. But, yeah, no, like I said, I just want people to know that I'm not all that bad. Yeah, it's good, though, Van, because they, if you get a chance to when I do a – oh, well, then guess who are the three people that are joining me on panel? Shit. If you're up to it, Van, please remember that, sweetheart, okay? Only if you're up to it and only if you're taking a break and all that sort of stuff. Exactly. It's what's on the inside that matters. I agree completely. And I have, um, you know, I've always been judged for something, whether my hair's too long, whether my hair's not brushed enough or anything like that. Yes, but if you do, I'll unblock her because she'll PM me and tell me that you blocked her. And, um, but, a, uh, Emu, my dear. I'm going to refer to you as Emu because I'm not sure how you feel about people knowing your actual name. Um, so, Emu, please do not block my sister, okay? My sister being Van. She's my little sister. I do everything I possibly can to make sure she feels safe here. So, but here's the funny thing, though, Emu, is that I can actually put you in time out from my end. So that's fine. Oh, thank you, Sharon. That's very kind. So, yeah, Emu, if I get a PM from um, Van saying that you blocked her or timed her out or whatever you are magically going to do. <laughs> oh, fuck it. I love watching when I'm talking to Van, these two, the way that they interact, it's funny. Behave and you will be sleep. Behave and you'll be sleeping on the lounge tonight if you do. Uh, when you get a when you get a wrench, yes. But here's the thing. What? How did she talk? What? Have you been in here before, Trent? Oh, Van is a sweetheart. Threatened to giant, as in height wise, of a partner that if he times her out, he's going to sleep on the couch. Now, I don't think from memory their couch. <laughs> oh, they're so romantic. I used to, oh, 
I'm so sorry for for reasons that my intuition's kicking in for your baby blondie. Um, I do apologise for that. I'm sorry for that loss that you've had because when you say my sister's name was, so I apologise from the bottom of my heart sincerely. Well, thank you, Matt. Um, my heart's here with you. If you ever need to talk, I'll thank you. If you ever need to talk, you know that if you have um, Facebook, please fire. I'm not trying to just do this to get more subscribers on that, but please go find my um, seeking, seeking true crime discussions with Tammy. You'll find me in there at any point you need to talk. Please feel free that you can PM me. And then when we start interacting a bit, if you actually need to talk, you can um, add me on Facebook and then you can, um, what do you call it? So, again, I do apologise if I'm way off. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, see, the thing is, though, Van, if um, Trent tries to time you out, at any point when he's mod, you let me know and then I'll time him out for the same amount of time. Because whether he's mod or not, when you are the host of your own live stream, you get to pick and choose who stays in chat and who doesn't. So I can easily time Trent out if he times you out. So that's fine. Easy. <laughs> but, um, no, as I was saying, Van, guess who might be joining me on here later? Um, okay, hang on one sec. Okay, give me a moment, please. Sorry, guys, give me a sec. Sorry about that, guys. I just had to go send someone a link because my messenger decided to close. Um... <clears throat> yeah, no, that's fine. It's all good, yo, baby blondie. Uh, okay. That, <laughs> give us a clue who's on here. Um, well, okay, if Emu pops up, this is someone that I wasn't expecting. But, um, oh, my God, Emu. Are you for real? Or is um, Van just shit stirring? <laughs> I like this. This is how I absolutely adore this couple, okay? Van writes, Emmy wants on panel. Emmy, I don't want to go on. Okay, he's backed out. He's got nervous. <laughs> yes, because at the end of the day, anyone that talks to me does get nervous. Um, so... Um, what do you call it? It comes down to if you get nervous talking to me, it's okay. I don't bite. Oh, but to give you a clue as to who's coming up here. All right. One I've only actually seen on um, live stream once before, and he's absolutely adorable. And the other one is someone that I absolutely, and I'm going to get into trouble for this, so hopefully if he has actually tuned up the volume that headphones are on when I say this, uh, the other person is someone that I, yes, they are. Van and Emu are officially a couple, yes. They actually met away from YouTube land and actually met how people used to meet. Chat tonight on my channel is just about absolutely anything and everything, um, Trent, man, uh, Emu. When I do random chats, it can be about absolutely anything. doesn't matter. It doesn't need to be a particular D B to be a particular topic. It's just random shit. But then when Dave comes up here, because that's who the other person is, um, yeah, it basically can go in one or two directions. Either one way that Dave's going to come up here and talk Chris Watts or two, Dave's going to come up here and tell me off. So, <laughs> well, you can talk about anything within reason, Trent. 
Like you can't come up here and talk about Van. Help me out here, please, darling. Don't write it in chat. Just let him know where my limits are of what I'd allowed to be talked about on my channel. Ooh, someone's here. Hang on. Ooh, shit. Whoa. You're getting told off. You're getting told off. Welcome to my first get, Matt Willis, everybody. Hey, Sammy, can you hear me? Can you hear I me? I sure can. Yes. Can you see me? Can you hear me? No, you've turned your camera off down I the bottom. You perfectly. Oh. Yes, but I can't see you. I. Good. That's a good. You can't idea. see me either. That's thing. good. <laughs> oh, how's your day been, my dear? Okay, I think we're having a little bit oh. of. Oh. I tell you because at the moment, anything. Matt, I can't hear you properly, sweetheart. My Wi Fi is terrible. Sorry. Well, it's okay. Sounds like you're in a cave. It's all good. Yes, Matt Willis will always have a place on my panel in here. So, yes, sounds like a robot. That's what I sometimes get when I'm on panel with you, Van. And so I've got to step down because it's sounding all Tin Man-ish. Okay, Matt, I don't know if you can hear me as clear as you were, but without being bossy, can you step out and step back, come back up, because that might be why I can't hear you now, if that's okay. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Sorry, I just. Oh, here we go. Oh my god, this is scary. Oh shit, my two favorite men in the YouTube community are here now. So I have. Oh look at. Oh shit. Okay, now Van wants to come up here too. This is scary. I was going to say I was. Just gonna... I haven't even been watching. What's going on? What are we talking about? We're talking about everything and everything. And before Van popped up here as well. Oh, Trent oh popped God. up here. Oh, God. It's Trent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You look like you're straight I out of Nashville. Something. They got me on this YouTube thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're on YouTube. Yes. Tammy, put us on widescreen. How do I do that? Oh, you're on your phone. Yeah, but I've got unlimited StreamYard now. I know that. Oh, hang okay. on. Oh, hang on. Here we go. Hang on. Here we go. Oh, that's Is that better. better? I'm in it. Yeah, well, now I'm little Dave. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm little Dave. Oh, I love it. <laughs> well, for what it's worth, for before Van put her head in the screen... And Trent, uh, not Trent, Trent's there. And Matt was up here. I was surrounded oh, by three funky guys. It's like. Oh, there you go. I'm doing Ooh. something good. The first, thing, <laughs> first time for everything. Be good. Who, me? Baby Blondie. Yes, I don't think I've seen. She's been in your chats a few times, but yes. I haven't seen the uh, No, neither have I. So, but she's mm. giving you a nice compliment, and if she's mm. good, mm. she can stay. Mm -hmm. so, mm. no, apparently, once you get up here, you're allowed to talk about anything. <laughs> you are, but you can't talk about genitalia. You can't talk about racism, politics. Racism? Or 9 or, is it racism or is it racism? I don't, <laughs> I don't fucking know. Racism. Hey, I could easily kick you both off. You're going to mock me for how I pronounce my shit. Beauty of it being my panel. That's a little Go, bit. girl. Yes, because I'm not going to be mocked. Go, go, oh, and there's no putting down of Tammy when you're on Tammy's panel. Unless it's really funny and you can't help yourself. <laughs> Hey, uh, don't say anything. Where am I right now, Trent? In the basement. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, well, you did say for me not to say anything. Uh, he doesn't watch it all. I would have said not your place. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because the Mickey, the Mickey Mouse window is what he puts up when he wants to get bow chicka wow wow, and then everybody knows. So that's not his basement. It's going to be. Uh, I can't believe I just said that. I know, the, I know the case, but I can't think of the name. <laughs> Christopher oh, and Camel Toe. Does that help you? I think we went through this the other night. No, Camel Toe does not help me. That's Nicole Kessinger. Nicole yeah. Lee That's the Kessinger. Of the what paper. Okay. Yes, and Christopher Lee Watts. <laughs> yeah. No, we did okay, this he's in the time. basement okay. of the Watts I'm in, home. I'm in the basement of the Watts home. Oh, yeah. I am. That's the body cam of um, of the lines that you can see up there. That's her. Well um, I, and, I um, have done well. But I can actually, I can teleport. Now I'm out <laughs> the front pretty. I'm out the front now. YouTube thing is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was going to say to you, Trent. Don't be alarmed. It's actually a green screen behind him. He has actually been to these places yet. Oh, welcome, Meg Healy. <laughs> Meg Healy, I have a wrench on this channel. If that's what you're going to say, and that's how you're going to be, right? I know it's Tammy's channel. I'll tell you right now, love. Don't, don't come in here and start your shit. What? She all. says that you're, you've no. got a, a great investigator. No. no, she's being facetious. Okay. Oh, I can't see. Okay. I can't see. Okay. All right. G'day, Cheryl. Hello, Cheryl Stone. Hey, Daniel. Da yeah. All right, we're going. Yeah, I'm out. Oh, okay, oh. Van. We've got more packing to do. We're, we're moving tomorrow. so. I know you are. That's right. Yep. You are. And we have no, okay. have no internet for like a week, so it's pretty bad. It's oh, no. Yeah. That won't be good. <laughs> oh, Trent, Trent, I've got something yep. to tell you as well. Um, I haven't got them yet because obviously they're coming from Wish, but they're these um, providing it's not going to cost me a fortune to send to you from here. Um, they're these night vision binoculars that will actually um, apparently do the heat sensitive shit for when there's an animal nearby. And I thought it, they might help you when you go hunting. Oh. That's cool. So I've ordered them, but they're going to come Aww. here and then from here they're going to go to you because I thought that if any time you're out doing that night hunting stuff and, yeah. um, you know, you need to think Aww. if something's behind you and it's really, really dark and you can't see what's going on, I ordered them from Wish for you. So they'll take about six months to two years to get here. <laughs> but whenever they get here, I'll send them on to you. But I just thought I'd let you know in case um, if you don't want them, I can go night stalking myself. But if you want them, I'll send them to you whenever they get here. Oh, thank you, honey. That's sweet. No, it's, a, it's to look out for him because of the fact there are a lot of wild animals out there in the world these days. And when he goes hunting... <laughs> From an outsider's point of view, I worry in case an animal tries to sneak up on him and he doesn't see it. And I don't mean you, Van. Um, so <laughs> we don't have that is just... bears in our country, Tammy. <laughs> <laughs> or wolves. Oh, but no, I just thought I'd... Uh, what is it, a yeah, but which takes forever to get shit here to Australia, so... It does. It really takes a long time. I mean, Kenya Yeah, so when it gets... Yeah. Oh, um, right, I just want to just make a, I'll make a little statement right now for a second. <laughs> Yeah, um, go for it. Meg. Meg, 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 Meg. You seriously need to get help. Why wouldn't I think that was you on Natasha's channel? Because you are an actual troll, okay? And it was a troll that was actually on Natasha's channel. He just sat up there and kept changing their names and calling, saying all sorts of names. So I wouldn't be surprised if it was you, all right? Because you are a complete and utter troll. Okay, and I will do everything I can around the YouTubes to get you blocked on every channel under your name because you are a troll and a very, very, very horrible human being. Full stop. You started a rumor. You started it. 
okay, that I um, was convicted of armed robbery. You actually started that. And don't deny it because you actually wrote it in a chat two weeks before I have a problem even put up that fucking load of bullshit on the, on her channel about me. So, Meg, yeah, good on you. You're a piece of shit. Okay? I've said it. Well said. Thank you. Okay, give me one moment. I've just done the unthinkable. I've put her into a block. Oh, someone's already blocked her. Yes, yes, yes. Um, Matt Willis did it. Oh, thank you, Matt. Guy. Yes. I'm nearly at 400 subs, Dave. I know. I'm so proud of you. You're doing very well. Very, I'm actually very, very in well. shock. Thank you. But how's your day been? Long. Sleep well? Well, <laughs> I, w I woke up at 1.30 to do a piddle, and bloody next thing I know, it's 3 a.m. And... <laughs> uh, for some reason, there were two women that were actually up messaging one another who decided to message me as well. Oh, <laughs> wouldn't that be right? Oh, I don't Van know what you're talking about, though. Tammy. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Don't know what you're talking about. It wasn't yeah. me. Well, I am feeling better, Van. Yes. How's Definitely the, feeling um, better. What about your chest area? How's that feeling? Oh, as yeah, far all as right. Like, yeah, it's, it's yeah. fine. It's still there. Yeah. Just remember, it's, though, it's stay away there. from dairy. Don't drink any coffee with milk. Don't drink anything or consume anything with dairy because that will add to the mucus in your chest and make your chest infection linger longer than it needs to. <clears throat> well, I do have to say that um, I love my iced coffees. So, um, of course you bloody do. Who doesn't? But still, What correct. one do you drink? Oh, well, I actually like the South Australian, the Farmers Union one. I love it. Yes. Yes. All right. But um, I, I drink um, ice breaks. I don't think we get that here in Adelaide. You do. They're in a brown bottle. Ah, uh, okay. They're in a brown. They're, you drink, they're 500 mil bottles or 750 mil. Oh, brown, you see, anything uh, brown kind of worries me a bit. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> like a bikini. Yes, exactly. That who Sweet wrote that? Selena, leave me alone. Don't don't pick on me because I smoke. Yes, I smoke. I've, I've cut down. I yes, cut that's down why I'm not. I, I cut down whenever I, when I, whenever I come on here. I cut down. I have to. <laughs> I wouldn't have a bloody you show. You don't have to. Um, Neither will I, Sharon. But um, for those who are out there, like I've said on so many other times, if you want to come in here and you want to be disrespectful to Dave, whether he's on panel or not, I'll be as blunt as I can because I've been polite up until now by saying please leave. You're going to be disrespectful to Dave on my channel. Like I said, whether he's here or not, fuck off. Because I will not, under any circumstances, allow anyone in here. I just dropped two views. Um anyone to come in here and criticise someone who you all support me for being here, that's great. But just remember, I'm here because of Dave, because Dave gave me the courage to actually do this. So if you don't support him, but yet you support me, you're supporting the person who gave me the courage to do this. So Excellent. I've said, please leave. You're welcome. I have said previously, if you're not happy with him, leave. But now it's going to be on the joke that if trolls want to come in and ambush him when he is a guest on my channel, guess again. It is fuck off now. Because yeah, I don't want no. you here if you're going to criticize one of my best friends. Yeah, and I did a really good job today. I got a block out of Natasha's chat. I was wrapped. I was well in chat. Done. And Meg was in chat. And uh, I mean, yeah, I managed to get it worked up so much. She actually said something rude and got blocked by. And Natasha made a point of it, <laughs> which was really cool. <laughs> Okay, oh, and I'll tell you now, this is not bullying people. This is a person. No. This is a person that went out of her way, went out of her way to start an absolute false, I mean false, hate campaign towards me. And I'm serious. She did. She started it. And I ended it. All right, so mm. you're an absolute piece of shit, Meg Healy. 
a piece of shit troll drunk alcoholic who needs help that is all you are all right i'm sorry but that's what you are and you need help all right uh, get you to go and get some as soon as possible yeah oh uh trent i like you dave <laughs> <laughs> and, you. and um and in you. Quest, uh, sorry in answer to your question your baby blondie yes they are very expensive here uh, because yeah. I smoke once uh, uh, called Long Beach Blue Cool Crush, which simply means it's a normal cigarette, then I crush it and it becomes a menthol. So for me, if I buy a 25-pack, basically if I smoke half and half, I get 50 for the price of like 30, bu 30 40 bucks. But, but I, I smoke menthol. Okay, I'm going to explain to you something, okay. In America, you just get packets in 20s. All right? Oh. So... A pack of 20s over there in a petrol station will cost you about eight bucks. All right. Yep. US. Um, in a supermarket, you'll get them for about six bucks a packet. In Europe, mm. um, in France, you can get a packet of 20s for uh, just under five euro, which is like eight dollars Australian. Um, and over in uh, Bali last year, I was paying two dollars a packet. That's true. All right. But you come to Australia <laughs> for the same packet of 20s, you will pay. Oh. Um, for a packet of 20s now, you'll pay $27, which is approximately uh, $15, $16, $17 US a packet for a packet of 20s. Well, Matt told me the other day in Vietnam they're a dollar a packet. So I said, yeah. do you have PayPal? I'm going to send you, my, um, send you money. So you no, it doesn't work. Stuff. You can't send them. Yeah, I know. They won't get through it. customs. They won't get through mm. customs. Well, that uh, sucks. Yeah. No, because Matt, Dave um, works when he's not doing um, robbery and um, all this other horrific shit. Dave yeah. works if it's okay. Am I allowed to mention what it is? I'll say it. What you do? Yes. Oh, okay. I work for Australia Post. I'm a postie. I deliver all your packages. Yeah. Look at Can that you van. imagine if Dave was my postie? Mm. I think I'd be in trouble. I'd be out there every day with a coffee. Here you go. You'd be like, oh, tell me fuck off. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, I know. I know. I would. <clears throat> Yep. So fifty bucks. Well, I bought a packet of um twenty fives the other day, and like I said, because they've got that the filter, like I said, that you can crush down and it becomes a menthol. I paid forty dollars for one of those packets of cigarettes, and it's okay. like whoa. So anyway, how many I'm people? Talking. How many people we got watching? Sixteen. All right, we've got to get it up to thirty-five. All okay, right. now so this is what we do. This is what we do. This is what we do. Let's go to YouTube. Anytime I go live, right, he's going to show you. Righto, so we'll click on Tammy on YouTube. Oops. And then we go share. Then we go copy. And we go to my channel. Aww. All right, and then we go to community. And then we go, um, please uh, come and join yeah. Tammy. It's more upbeat today than the other day. And I over on her channel now. Then we go mm -hmm. that. I have to make sure I, I don't put a space, then a comma, then a space, and a question mark, and a space, and a comma. Everyone will think I'm Kim G. Uh, control. <laughs> yeah, you don't want people thinking that. No, you definitely don't want people thinking that. No. Right, Dave's so been there. hacked. He's Kim G. There you go. Uh, how many beautiful. people are, like, sorry, how many subs are there now? Because I'm pretty sure there'll be 400 now. Yes, Dave is an angel. I think that even though 
there's no way in the world that this is going to come out without being misconstrued, but Dave is an angel, just like Van. They both saved my life on numerous occasions. Apparently so. Yeah, because you have. Yeah. Like I remember this one time, not at band camp, so don't get your minds out of the gutter. I was actually feeling really, 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 really down about myself. And then out of nowhere, when Dave first rang me, because we were talking through Messenger, I said, it'll be easier if you call me on my phone. And because I didn't have, like, outside of YouTube and outside of Facebook and uh, Messenger, I didn't actually have his number at that point. When he rang me, it was like, I answered, I'm like, hello. And he goes, hello, how you going? I'm like, yep, I'm all right. And then I'm like, um, because I was because Dave, how you hear him now, he actually sounds a little bit deeper when you actually speak to him in a phone call that isn't connected to the internet, if you know what I mean. It's an actual phone call, mm-hmm. phone call, and it freaked <laughs> me out. And the only way I knew it was him is when he called me a fucking idiot and started laughing. And I'm like, oh my god, it's him. <laughs> 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 it freaked me out. But no, but like I was saying before, Dave's actually the reason that I'm doing my own channel because with what I say about the case and out of respect for his channel, as we all know, I call them names and all the rest of that. So nicknames, I should say, terms of endearment, if you will, of people in yeah, this um case. So I respect him too much to say I'm on his channel, so I can do my own. It's good. Yeah. Yes, he always has been good to me. He's my guardian angel in human form, just like Van. I'd be right, very, so very, very much to that, Dave. So I shared it over on my channel for you. It's over on my community tab. Thank All you. All right. So my channel, community. We'll shoot the breeze for a bit longer. We've got 15 people. Well, for whole 15. Come on. Come on, everyone. Get moving. Need more. <laughs> yes, come on, more, more. I love what Van just wrote. Tammy, I'm so surprised you started talking to me after I wrote to you I was your number one fan. That's right. <laughs> I've never actually had a fan base before, so I was oh, just thinking. Hey, the fan. So um, number one fan, just like Misery. Remember the movie? She was his number one fan. Kathy Bates. Kathy Bates and, um, oh, what was his name? James Kahn, I think was his name. He was the author. I'm glad you did it. It's been blast knowing you, chick. There you go. It is. Yes. Oh, hello, Purple Butterfly. Welcome. The purple oh, here. Oh, right, right now, everybody, I need, I need to. Okay, while we're here with the whole 15 people here. All right, now what? Hey, James. On um, Friday night. American time um, at 10 p.m. roughly, uh, which will be 8 p.m. my time. Uh, sorry, 10 a.m. 10 a.m. my time Saturday. Hang I'm on, sorry, 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 sorry. Meg Healy is blocked. Kiss hug. Okay, for Dave to throw you under the bus on Natasha's live, saying you are scamming for a laptop. God love you, Tammy. That's what friends are for. And is that the Meg Healy I'm thinking it is? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, for Dave. Okay, sorry, sorry, I've already done it. Live saying the scam. I never said that. You are absolutely full of shit. See, this is what she does. I went on there to defend Tammy and help Tammy apologise to everybody. You're a fucking idiot, exactly. Meg. Right? I went because- on there to help Tammy realise what she had done wrong, okay, and mm-hmm. she apologised, okay, and left the show. You are a exactly. fucking idiot, Meg. Seriously. Because at the end of the day, okay, if you want to address no. that live, Seriously. that's fine. I'll quickly address it a little bit now. When I was up there, yes, I was being ambushed by uh, three people. but when And they were all throwing questions at me and it became, for me, it became very overwhelming. When Dave came up there and actually let me know he was popping up, he was messaging me as they were ambushing me on that panel. There's no doubt about that. but. When he came up there, he had my back. So if you want to come in here and create new names and all that sort of shit, be my guest because you'll find yourself and find it very interesting that I have a great set of mods and I have a lot of people backing me up. I didn't want to talk about what happened on that panel ever again. But if you think that for one second that Dave threw me under the bus, 
by you <laughs> writing that, you just brought it back up and threw me back under the fucking bus. Piss off. Well All said, right? sweetheart. Thank you. Because right, he had back my back. Getting back he had to where my we back. Were. Yeah. And I was put into a pretty horrible situation because uh, Lani and uh, Lani and Irvin had been mods on my channel and Tammy was a mod. Okay. Yeah. And Miss Teeley was up there. So everybody basically was representing my channel and they were all up there with Natasha. Right. So although they had their own channels, they were all representing hey, my crazy mama. Yeah. G'day, crazy mama. Thanks for being <laughs> here. So it was um it was bloody awful and I had to get up there and end it as fast as possible. And that's what I did. As exactly. I'm sorry, now I'd never threw Tammy under the bloody bus. Oh god, you're a fucking idiot, Meg. Right. Anyway, now I'm doing a mod <laughs> zone. I'm doing I'm doing a members only on Friday night. And purple butterfly, you are going to come on my panel. I really want you to. So is crazy mama. All right. And Cheryl Stone, maybe. Um, and Tammy, have, obviously, have you, Will. Have you okay. heard Cheryl Stone, uh, Sharon Ashman's voice? Oh, my Sharon God. I Ashman. absolutely. I love her well, voice. She's her an voice absolute, for me. Sharon Ashman is an amazing human being. Yes, she uh, is. An amazing, for amazing human being. Yes. Going through absolute hell at home, she is. She's got a. Um, yeah, hubby is, Aww, hasn't got long thank left, you, and, Sharon. and um, and she has not been well herself, so yeah, all love goes out to Sharon at all times. At all well, times, there you go. There's a message from Crazy Mama for you. I don't do panels, Dave, you know this. <laughs> <laughs> it's a members only one, Crazy Mama. Members, as in, it's only members. So it'll be really cool. Let's meet the mods. Yes. But you've all, meet okay, but the he's, the, I even messaged, I even messaged Dave when he sent me that awesome video and I said, everybody that's in your chat just about knows who I am. Does that mean I'll have to go up there too? And he gave me a thumbs up and I wasn't actually sure what, he, if that was just a slip of the finger. And then he goes, that means yes. I'm like, oh, shit. Because I've been doing my, no disrespect, I've been doing my own thing on my own channel for a while, and now I've got to reel it back in and be polite and be well <laughs> well mannered and not think uh, what I'm thinking. Purple, no, no need to be, no, no need to stay fright. Um, we've got we've got True Gypsy, who also has had a massive health issues. She's actually going to um, go out and buy an outfit. Just so she can go live and go on camera, she's she's absolutely jumping at the bit. She can't believe she's going to get a chance to come on the panel. So <laughs> I reckon it'll be exciting because at the end of the day, when it comes to Dave, as as you all know, I adore him. So if this is offensive to anyone or to you, Dave, I apologise. Dave can get blood out of a stone. You know what I mean? He can make anything fun. He's not going to have you up there and giving you like the third degree about why do you support my channel? How long have you been a mod for? It's just going to be like a casual conversation like here, but instead of you typing, you're going to be verbally saying Angela, Angela, you should be able to get into the community tab on a mobile phone um, mm -hmm. or a PC, uh, but you'll have issues on an iPad uh, for some reason. Uh, YouTube doesn't like showing community pages on iPads for some stupid reason. So because Apple sucks. You no, know, they don't. They're awesome. No, yes, they suck. True Gypsy is gorgeous. True Gypsy is absolutely gorgeous. She She's is. always been nice to me. So and so is Purple Butterfly. Another you beauty. Uh, Emu, you don't have to be a mod to come on my. Um, that sounds disgusting. To appear on my panel, you don't have to be a mod. Yeah. So it's uh, yeah. So yeah, it's you don't only have iPad to be... on TV. That's right, Angela. Sorry, uh, how exciting! Yes, um, but chat will be able to ask 
um, mods any question they like uh, within reason. I will obviously be asking them questions. Um, how do they manage their time when three of the creators that they are modding for are actually live at the same time? <laughs> I think that would be a pretty good question to ask. Um, and, yeah, and would you like me to just show the thing Paula made? Sure. I'm just adding Matt to, Matt to stream. Matt. Matt, meet Dave. Dave, meet Matt. G'day, Matt. This is who they said was you. Hello, can you Hi. hear me? Yes. Hey, Dave, how are you doing, bro? Oh, living the dream. Living the dream, I hear you. Living the dream. Hey. Look at me sitting opposite the Watts house. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, can you do me a quick favor? You don't have to do this, but can you just turn on your camera for a mere moment? I know you want to share what Paula did for you, and I think that's great, Dave. But just give me one sec. Can you just turn your camera on for a sec, please? Okay. Hey, Matt, isn't he well cool? done. That's oh, that was Matt. Everybody. He, uh, and the looked like he was wrapping me, up bubbles. Exactly. Looks like he had bubbles there with him. <laughs> <laughs> right there and then he had bubbles with him. Look, look, everybody, he's got no, bubbles. I did. I did. I'm drinking beer. Oh, I thought you had a big bubble there with you. I thought bubbles was with you there for a sec. Because oh, if they, no. because don't forget though, Dave, for a long time there, now that I've got it onto my channel as well as Van on hers, um, people for a very long time thought that um, Matt Willis was Dave, as in Seeking the Truth with Dave, oh, oh, because oh, of the oh, pit oh. So, for what it's worth now, I'm up here on panel with two hot guys. So, whoever's jealous, don't be. I'm not in between them. I'm beside Dave. So, <laughs> you have relax. to add my, add my other screen, please, Tammy. Uh -huh. Yep. If you Ooh. don't mind, everybody knows that screen is a whole thing. Everybody's seen it before. Still only 15 <laughs> watching. What's going on? Yep, 16. Okay. Oh no! Uh, okay. Where are we? Your channel, right, Matt? I'm you left it mute. Spoken. All right, Matt, you left it mute for a sec. Because here we go, everyone. My wonderful friend, um, Paula, oh. made this for me, and uh, you all know her as Paula Walking. Okay, on my channel. And I think she's absolutely wonderful for doing this for us. So, right, I will move that over there. And we're all going to go on mute. Otherwise, there will be echoes left, right, and center. Uh, where are we? StreamYard, mute. Uh, mute, 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 mute. Have you ever wanted to know who times you owe? Have you ever wanted to know who blocks you from the channel? Have you ever wanted to know who gives you that welcome hello? For one night only, for members only, it's me, your mom. your wrench. There you go, everyone. Very lucky. I think that awesome. Paula made that for me and everyone. Oh, Matt's so disappeared again. Matt's disappeared. I think he got insecure about being in his a... No, his Wi-Fi is terrible. Yeah, and I was going to say something really, really rude then, but I won't. It's okay, Matt. I was going to say something inappropriate, but Dave being Dave, he saved me from doing that. 
How many haters? Say, how, like, like seriously, right? How many haters mm-hmm. can somebody actually get? I was, I'll just show. I'll just. I'll so seriously, I have to show you that again. And I'm not going to actually. I'll just say it. This will, this will be better. Members only live, right? A thousand views, right? For that little preview, right? How many mm-hmm. haters are out there? Seventy-three likes, thirty-one dislikes. How the hell can that get thirty-one dislikes when Paula made it? Like really? Because it's That's... connected to you. No, because it's associated with your channel, and because you're doing something and taking a a breather from talking about Chris Watts, you're actually doing something that other people on other channels wouldn't do. So yeah. because it's associated with you, because don't forget, so you know, being an arm robber. It's such an awesome idea. Like seriously, it is. Like, you know, <laughs> I'm just going to be to meet my the models. Models. Yeah, so I'm how can something okay. like be nearly 50 50 with likes to dislikes? That's just wrong. I, I think mm. it's meanies. Absolute meanies. Okay, you've been complimented by yo baby blondie. I just love Dave. He's got a true heart. I love his passion for Shanann and the babies. And not meaning to bring up anything, but I quit watching. Bad. bad. And not I... trying to bring up anything bad, but I quit watching Larry. Yeah, well, I call him something else on my channel. I just call him um, Why can't I just call him the man with um, half a face? Because he never looks at the camera straight on. He's blocked from my channel, people. So if you want to report back to the man with half a face, that's fine. I am not fussed. You're but he's like Phantom of the Opera. Uh, four, 21. 401 subscribers. <laughs> and your other boyfriend's in chat now. All the way from Florida. Who? Muck Boys. Oh, okay. I want to try and get Muck Boys and Matt and you up here at the same time. For that'll be, I'll be very spoiled then. You would be. I can. Very spoiled. I can then say, I was because I'm laying in bed because I've been a bit unwell today. I can honestly say then I was in bed with three hot guys. Sorry, Trent. You you know. There you go. What about your boyfriend? Oh, he doesn't care. He's being <laughs> weird. Like he knows that the likelihood. Well, he knows that the likelihood of me going to Vietnam to try and meet Matt is like, yeah, good luck to you. Going to Queensland, anywhere at the moment, because we've got lockdowns in my area, which is really bad. Because the um, not that I drink. But the Dan Murphy's up the road from me, that's been considered a hot spot. My doctor's surgery has been considered a hot spot. Um, my local shopping centre, which I won't reveal what that is, that's considered where I'll do my shopping, that has been considered a hot spot. So nearly every which way has been considered a hot spot in my area. But, um, yeah, so it's pretty messed up. And, um, yes, fans covering for me in chat tonight in case it gets a little bit out of control being mod, but then she'll be demodded at the end of tonight's live. It's just to keep an eye on things well, a bit been, closer for me. been made a mod? Just for tonight. I saw her before in chat. She, she was great. She wasn't blue. <laughs> I'm serious. <clears throat> yeah, it's very oh. rare, but no, like I said, it's just because I went up to 2020. No, and no, no. Be- when, did, when did you make her a mod? Just then. Oh, just, just now. Not. Well, there you go. And what, just, just now. now? It's only for or, one night only. Well, for yeah, one, one night, night and for one night only, meet your marts. <laughs> yeah. a, okay, can I ask, can I request something, though? And this is something that I'm not being, I should have addressed this to you in PM. If anyone brings up that past issue, can I say um, I refuse to answer? Absolutely. If it, thank you, because I just want to be able to put yeah, that behind no, all, that, and that's move on. Done, that's a bit. It, it took me Healy to bring it up because that's that, that's what an absolute cow that's does. That's kind of vindictive cow she does. Yes, exactly. Yeah, that's the sort of shit she does. I told you when I was um, away from my brother's car racing that time, and I came on for your birthday bash. Mm. You know, I told you after that live, she's bad news. She's yes. bad news. Well, she's bad news. Yep. So we managed to get uh, rid of her off Crafton's channel, managed to get rid of her off your channel, managed to get rid of her off um, Natasha's channel. So things are looking up. 
Yes. Yeah, so right. if she wants to come back in here, please, uh, for who's in here now, then that was in here before. If you notice her being, or that person, Meg being in here um, for, under her. any no, other screen name. Don't, yeah, just don't. Block um, don't. Yeah, don't um, even interact with it. Um, oh, Sharon Ashman. Tammy, ask Dave, is there, is there a waiting list to be a mod on his channel? Because I would be on cloud nine to be one on his channel. Love being here for you, Tammy. See, I beat you to it. Sharon Ashman's a mod on my channel. I beat you to it. Well, I'm going to steal her. <gasps> I might do an AD. I might do a... Um, I might do an AD. If you if you mod on my channel, you can't mod anywhere else. Yeah, I'm sorry, but whoever's a mod here, like I've got Matt Willis as a mod now. I've got quite a few, and yes, but if you mod here and you mod for Dave, all the only rule I have with that is please be respectful to both of us at all times. Yep, and the other there's, thing there's is, no I, other I, I just wanted to add that um um. I'm waiting for one of his mods to appear in my chat again because I'm just going to mod them. I want to see what they do. I want to see what AD does. I'm just going to mod one of AD's mods. <laughs> <laughs> just want to serve I reckon me. he'll be like, <laughs> I just want to stir, stir the pot just a little bit and just mod one of them. <laughs> Dave, uh, not Dave, with um, Alan, um, there's something about him that I don't know. He just freaks me out. He reminds me of David Bowie before David D Bowie died, but I think it's the smile, but also the fact that when he's talking, sometimes it's like I'm trying to understand what he's talking about because it doesn't even seem like it's the topic on hand. Yeah, just one, yeah. Yeah. no sling, Selena. Um, I'm not. I'm not. Um, not watching anything to do with that poor little Summer Wells. There's something really dodgy going on there. Uh, from what I gather, uh, I don't believe she's dead. In my opinion. Well, I watched. Um, oh, did you get that video I sent you shortly after you were live with me last time about the back of the Watts house? No. Because I. Well, my dear sweet friend, you might want to watch that because it shows the back of the Watts house of how they, when Chris said that there's only a driveway and there's no cameras out back, that video shows that you could very easily reverse right back, right up to the back of the fence. Yep, yep. And I hear mm. Joe's um, modding for uh, Robbie now, Joe the cat. Yeah, I was modding for um, Save Robbie at one stage, but then under unforeseen circumstances, I got removed as mod. And those mm. who know the backstory know what that's that right. um, that unforeseen anyway? circumstances. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, you don't need to go in there. Yeah, but I don't care though because I'm mod on Dave's channel, and I'd rather be a mod on his channel twenty four seven than on someone else's who I can't keep up with. Anyway, See, I um, think the problem. I think the problem over there on AD's channel is an AD. Yes. It's a, <coughs> excuse me, Michael Bublé. Bubbles is a snake. Maybe, maybe if I, maybe I could talk to her in parcel tongue. She might understand <laughs> me. That's um, Harry Do you Potter want to language. What that of, is? Okay, it's Harry Potter language for those. That, it means I can talk to snakes. So maybe if I talk to her in <laughs> parcel tongue, I um. I might actually be able to make sense out of her. Yeah. What happened so, to Joe the cat? Oh, Joe the cat, um, well, well, bubbles again. What happened to YT Kimberly? Bubbles again. Was that bubbles? Bubbles again. Oh. <gasps> yep. So, yeah. Yeah, something's really, really going wrong over there. It's just the slithering snake. Yep. And what she did to Heather was horrific. What she did to Heather was not good. 
Okay, would like, you, yes, I yes, Heather's told I believe Heather's told some pork and pies, but she didn't deserve to be thrown under the bus from their vetting processes. You know, it was like they vetted Blair, they vetted Blair to the best they possibly could and believed her. And the thing was, when Mummy Ramblings went and read out the script with the Ruzix, then I read it out, well, that was six months of content of ADs down the gurgler, so he decides to throw um, um, Heather straight out of the bus. Mm. So, so that's bad. And the only reason I'm so talking about it have... is it's random chat tonight. That's why we're here, random, random chat. Yeah, exactly. It's random. There's no particular topic in mind. It's just because uh, when I have these nights, I feel as though there's not so much pressure on who's coming up here. And plus with Dave, no disrespect to you, Dave, with everything that Dave does bring up, I want him to um, feel as though that he can go somewhere and he can actually just basically, you know, let his hair down, chillax, have a smoke, have a beer, whatever he wants to thanks. do on my panel. Exact, that's the best way to put it, yes. Hang on. <laughs> Sharon Sorry. Ashman, I would be honoured to have you as a mod on my channel. Absolutely honoured because you have been an unbelievable rock solid supporter of me. Like from the from the get go, not long after but you, my boys. But are you going to ask if I'm okay with that, or are you just going to go with the flow? I'm just going with the flow. I suppose anything goes tonight, right, guys? That's right. <laughs> anything goes. Yeah, exactly. So, um, oh, what was I going to say? I had something to say. Um, yeah. So when we do these nights, like I said, it's just less stress on everybody else. People can just like come in here if they want to talk about something. We can talk about it. And for ladies and gentlemen who are tuning in and trying to figure out the circumstances with what, uh, with what Sharon just wrote, Heather was thrown under the bus, then reversed over. That's how you throw someone under a bus. Well and truly, well and truly, yeah, they reversed over her. Yep, and they're still driving over her today. Exactly. They've actually, they, they've actually got the buses lined them. up, one after the other. Is, <laughs> uh, is Heather the? Sorry, I'm being from. Uh, what's it called? Um, oh no, she has really nice long, like blonde hair, like I would have if I didn't spend years dyeing it. And she does her eye makeup like really, really awesome. That she unjustified though. No. Mm. What's Heather's channel's name? Unmerged. Unmurdered, that's it. Unmurdered is the name of Heather's channel. Um, Please go over there, like, subscribe, and um, ring the notification bell because I want to show her as much support as, well, I don't think she's ever been in my chat, but I would like to, her to know that she's always got a place here if she just wants to let loose and say how she really feels and not have to put, her channel at any kind of jeopardy by saying a few f bombs, but she wants to come up here and vent. She's Sharon, more than welcome to. Sharon, I will ask though: Are you on Facebook? If you are, you need to communicate with somebody. Is she on Facebook, Tammy? Yeah, yeah. I talked to her through Messenger. Yep. Okay, cool. Can you um, link me and her and like make a chat up? Between you, me, and yeah, sure, I'll do. Karen. Yep, I'll and do then, that. and then, once you've done that, um, and we're all connected, um, you just give yourself the ass out of the group, and boom, me and Sharon yep. have got a group chat going. Yep, that's, our, our yep, our that's fine. That'll I'll do perfect. that after and, the live. And Purple okay. Butterfly was in our mods chat, but I had to give her the flick because she didn't, um, she didn't converse with anybody in our mods chat, <laughs> so. I gave Purple the flick, but she's been a mod on my channel for a very long time. I actually yeah. made a one at the recommendation of Dave G. That's why Purple got a wrench on my channel. It's all because of Dave G. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I'm absolutely thrilled for you, Sharon. Um, yes. Yes, Red X is amazing. She truly is. As yes, is I Mia. As is the oh, old Mia. I love her. Okay, Mia and her, um, the way she goes through the autopsy, 
Um, crazy mama. Yeah, well, crazy got a mama, of course. Crazy, crazy got a mama. Crazy mama got her wrench back, everyone. We had a little bit of a, um, a, a spat with each other for six months, and they all came back at the same time. Tia, LFT, Nicole T, and Crazy Mama all got their wrenches back the exact same day. All righty, so they all started with me on my channel, and now they're all back with me, and I think that's fan-fucking-tastic. Yep. Sharon just wrote to you, Dave. Sharon wrote to me? Uh, yes, I've, Dave. I I'm on Facebook and Pulford, but on YouTube and Mashman. Wasn't able to change my name. <laughs> that's okay. No, it's okay. You don't do it. Just um I'll create I'll create the somebody, chat. Can somebody, um Sharon, can you just retract that message, please? Sharon, just retract it. Get rid of that message. Um, if you don't mind. It's too late now because you put it up on the screen. Um it's all right. No, sorry. I don't want, I don't want you to go and dox yourself, Sharon. Um Oh, if anyone tries to dox you, woo hoo. It wasn't a spat. You're right. You're right, it wasn't a spat. No worries, Purple. You shoot me a message. Um, okay. uh, no, I'm definitely not going to ding you because you're sort of mod for unjustified. Of course not, Cheryl. You're beautiful. <laughs> um, yeah, you got, what do you amazing. mean by are you going to ding me? What does that mean exactly? Am I going to, like, give her the flick? Oh, well then, sorry, I don't understand. Dave's travelled the world outside of Australia, so he knows when they say things, they understand that. I'm just like, oh. Yeah. What? <laughs> oh, damn it. I think I deleted okay. the wrong message. <laughs> good work, man. You're a good mod. No wonder you're yeah. not a mod. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm glad to that we can make you happy, Sharon. That actually makes me happy knowing um, that. So that's beautiful. Thank you. I'll, uh, I'll, me I'll, channel. Okay. I'll put it in chat. I'll put it in chat. Thank All you. Right. I'll do it. Mia is, outside of Dave, Mia is one of the few people on YouTube that do true, true crime that I actually respect. We've got 30 in chat, by the way, Dave, um, that I actually hold very <laughs> dear to my heart. I guess work got out there. <laughs> <laughs> done well. You've done well, Tam. Well so, done. yeah, well, I thank you because you put it on to your channel. I don't think people would like because I try not to program when I'm going live unless I have to. But the thing is, though, because I only had four hours left of my um, – because with um, – you when you sign up for StreamYard and you get to see how it all operates and stuff, you get 20 hours a month. That's it. And those who know me know that I like to talk. So yeah. I upgraded. I decided not to buy certain things I had to buy this week. I decided to upgrade it to throughout the whole thing. It says $20 a month. And then when I go check my bank, it turns out it's actually $35 a month. For me yep. to have the unlimited of everything. But they really need to improve on how they do that and they should put $20 American and blah, blah, and Australian, and that would actually help people. So now I could do, oh, wow, I'm nearly up to 30 people. Shit. Thank you to everybody. Sorry. There you go. 30 um, people That's awesome. That is oh, absolutely right, so I'm going to run away now. All oh, right. you are? I just wanted to come and pop on here, everybody. Um, if you haven't subscribed to me, please do. Um, and the thing that, and one other thing before I leave. Mm -hmm. I've never once ever had a go at Alan and his disability he's actually got, ever. But I'm pretty upset that he called me mentally inferior. Ooh. Ooh. Mentally inferior. Is what he called me. Hi, Miss Jones. Okay, which, in chat, if we, you see that, hurt, life... which, which kind of mm. hurt. No, as a wolf. It kind of hurt, you know. I have a Spurgis. It's a gift. Um, Alan did, Sharon. Yeah, AD. Mentally so... inferior. 
were his his exact two words that he called me. So if anyone in chat, just a bit of a heads up, whether he's popular or not, I don't give two shits. You see Alan in my chat at any given time tonight or any time in the future. Mods, please block him. I don't want that piece of shit in my chat if he's going to be disrespectful to Dave. That's how much I want to protect this man right next to me, as in on panel. I want to protect him. So if anyone out there is ever disrespectful to Dave in, say, another chat, but then they come into mine and try and act all, look at me, I'm so superior, block them. Yeah. I will not, under any circumstances, have anyone in my chat who's going to disrespect Dave. Disrespect me is one thing, but when you disrespect someone who spends days bringing you information that he finds out, someone who goes deep into interviews, someone who <clears> is actually not into just deal with that, but he's also a loyal and trustworthy friend in my life and in my heart. You see Alan in my chat, block him. I don't care what he has to bring. You see any of his mods in here. <laughs> if they start giving Dave shit, whether he's in here or not, time them out. They continue, block them. I don't care if I've just made 401 subscribers, but if you're in here for the wrong reasons to judge me or judge Dave, turn around, fuck off and unsubscribe right now because I will not put up with that. You support yeah. me. You, su you don't have to support Dave. But you just have to, when you're in my chat, you have to show respect and restraint. you got something bad to say about him, go on a channel that I'm not part of. But don't come here and criticise my best friend and then walk away thinking you've done justice because you haven't. If anything, you've just made yourself look like a fucking idiot. Yeah. Anywho. Anyway, that was, that was his <laughs> words. You know? uh, so his actual two yeah. words that were said in his 10-minute opening rant to his live a couple of days ago. Uh, He's jealous of you, even though he has a lot of subscribers and countless Oh, yeah, rooms. he also said the only reason people watch Dave was because he's the Aussie version of AD. Oh, my fucking God. He's believing really? the trolls. That's what the trolls say. Um, uh, oh, far out. I'm sorry, but Alan needs to just, you know, walk away along with, you know, Phantom Man. And who I don't know who that is, that's Larry. Because he ne watch one of Larry's lives, just uh, the opening it. He does not show his whole face. It's like half my face is and the other half is this is my pretty side. And when <laughs> yeah, I get angry, it's crazy, this mama. Is my ugly side. Damn, tell us how you really feel. Oh, I will. Okay. Larry is <laughs> Phantom of the Opera. Alan is, um, a, what do you call it, a, a, <clears throat> a David Bowie wannabe. Um, yeah, so I'll just say those two for now because as far as I'm aware, they're the two for this time frame Dave doesn't like. The other names I have for other people, I respect that Dave respects them. I don't, but Dave does. So I'll be polite and just say Sugar they're the only yeah. two names. Sugar Pete. So, I was actually sent a screenshot. Thank you, crazy mum. Sugar beet. I actually was sent a screenshot of what Chicken Lady wrote to you, actually, of what she actually wrote as a response to you over there on AD's channel. I appreciate your support. Yeah, I truly do appreciate your support. That, oh, this one? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Sugar B actually um is quite funny when you watch her. She's um what was it? I think it was um Matt Willis was in chat and uh she he said something and then um Sugar Beat comes out with, you know, cranking up the middle finger or something and it just oh it cracked me up laughing. It was hilarious. She cracks Thank me up. Thank you for hey, hey, and sugar beef. Sugar beet, sorry, and provision of grief. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. That's really nice. Dave, See, I have a way of your story of triumph through challenges of being on the spectrum. I think I am too. I am an accountant, just not as hardcore as Ben Flick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's um. Yeah. I'm all numbers. I'm numbers and numbers. Simply numbers. 
I'm not letting him. I'm venting Cheryl, and it's wonderful, and it feels really nice to be venting and not getting bashed in chat. Mm. That's what I'm loving because I've I've um, vent about him on my channel. I just get bashed from pillar to post, so it's nice to be able to vent. And, did you um, say that yeah. Van won't be a mod on your channel again ever? No. Or just for time no. being? Okay. I thought you did. It was Sorry. her request. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm just saying if she wants to come back as being mod and stuff. Of course we'll she can be a mod. Okay. Oh, you can be a mod. You, get, you all get wrenches and how you use them is entirely up to you. But just do me one favour. If you're a mod on my channel... And I happen to be in chat at any time. Don't time me out because then I won't be able to come up here and do the show. <laughs> so that could be a little bit awkward. We could have. AC, I thoroughly agree with you. Yep. Once upon a time. Yep. That last word being time. Okay. AD and Dave could have made a good team. Yeah, I believe we could have. I truly believe, but I'm mentally inferior, so it wouldn't have worked. Wouldn't have worked with his dyslexia and me having being mentally inferior. It just wouldn't have worked, everybody. Yeah. I think because of the fact that when um, Alan goes into cases, I think he goes into it to a certain depth and then he gets all the other information and goes about it how... Other people can give him the information so he doesn't have to, so to speak. Whereas, you know, you, on the other hand, if you watch an interview, you don't just watch it for the sake of, oh, not many people have seen this interview. Let's just do this for views. You actually, you know, you pause it and you rewind it and you actually go in depth with your interviews and with your videos that you play. Like, even though some people might think, you know, what the hell. Every time you put what that background, you mentioned that you're at the Chris Watts house. Just in case people tuning in have no freaking idea. You know what I mean? You talk to people as though they're just opening the case for the very first time and I admire I, that. I, I, will, I, will, I, will, I, will, I will continuously go over the interviews because I keep getting new viewers, you know, and they don't want to go back and look at old videos. They want to look at current shit and then they want to look at live, like things that are alive and happening now. Um, he has got, yeah, greedy and naughty, I believe. Um, you know how the other day on your live you are talking about how he's taken some of your um, observations or someone's come into your chat and taken observations that you've done and mentioned it on then on his channel. I find that actually quite funny because there were a few things that – I mentioned to him before I was even on Zav Girl's channel for the first time. I was actually in ADs and I was typing things. And the thing is, though, whoever was mod at that time were deleting my messages and I was told at one stage to not be ridiculous. And the funny thing is now he's coming out with some of those things as well. And it's just like, hang on a darn minute. You told me I was being ridiculous when I brought up the chloroform the first time on your channel. Oh. Welcome. Well, back there's something there's, there's something very important. G'day, Matt. There's something very important. Uh, Red X and I are going to do a special on Devil's Breath together. So it's going I to don't understand very... either, Sharon. Hey? Uh, we're going to do a special on Devil's Breath. We're going to explain to oh my everybody in the YouTube community. <laughs> How easily it could have been given to the kids. Just blow it on their face. And the reason, okay, sorry to cut you off, Dave. In regards to your question, or in answer to your question, the reason that it is probably Armchair Detective now is not, or Alan, is has no respect for Dave or little respect for Dave now, is because Dave, at the end of the day, is actually more respectful to his chat. He's more respectful in the way he explains things. Because he, and again, Dave, I'm not saying to be disrespectful. You explain things to people as you do, as though they're tuning in for the very first time. Whereas with AD and a lot of other channels, they talk about the case as though, 
okay, the case is nearly three years old. This is what's happened. Now let's go and let's watch this interview and then talk about it afterwards. You allow people to have an opinion throughout it. You know, you allow people on your panel. And like I said, look what you did with me. You welcomed me on your panel one time and look where I am now, 400 and something subs later, and I'm doing my own channel. And it's incredible what you've brought to the YouTube community with it comes to this case. You stay focused. You stay on topic. You don't go, oh, I've got me on the other hand, I go everywhere. Um, you talk about something, but then you say to people, now, well, let's listen to this again. You don't just go, this is what I've heard, listen, and then move on to the next bit. You play it a few times so then people can hear it. Yeah. And your ability to have the patience when you, especially when you're playing the NK videos, my God, how can you stand that they voice? They take forever. <clears throat> but you do it. I could do a 10 part mini series just on her three hour and 39 tip, um, three hour, 39 minute interview on the 16th. I reckon I could take 10 episodes to actually, 10 lives to actually do that. Mm. I reckon. I reckon I could break it down that much. And do ten lives just on that one interview. Matt's gone again. Yeah, see you, Matt. Um, but no, I think that when it comes to Dave, it, yeah, thank you, Van. Um, I think that when it, like I said, when it comes to Dave, and I'm not discriminating against any other creator, but where Dave talks about the Chris Watts case, he talks about it as though, like I said, you're hearing it for the first time, like it's just breaking news, or he's explaining it in a way apart from when you know he swears a bit but that's okay i love it um when he's talking about it he talks about it like he's explaining it to a child he doesn't do it to dumb us down he doesn't do it to be discriminating he doesn't do anything like that he explains it in a way so as you're watching this video you can look for those little clues you can look for those little things that he sees and it's incredible because there's things that he's pointed out that i look at when i go back over and watch it and, or i watch a different video with what he's talked about, and I'm like, how could I have not picked that up? Oh, I my God. Explain, I was going to say something, everybody. One gram, one gram of the devil's breath powder can kill you. One gram. Oh, um, do you remember what one you said you are going to One gram Ooh. can actually can be a lethal dose for an adult. One Graham. So That's scary. how did they get? How did they get Shanann out of the house? Devil's breath. Straight to oh. Problem solved. And we're gonna go Wait. over that together. Oh Red X and I. See? Dave's like one of those really hot guys in high school that you've got a crush on and then he teases you with information and then he's you've got to wait and see. And then when you see it, it's like, what the fuck? It's over yeah. in four hours. Purple, it's over in four hours. The um, So just think about it, everyone. The way I've described everything that happens with Chris, I believe fully he has no idea what happened. But you think... What could have happened between 4 a.m. and 8 a.m.? Right? Chris has no idea. None whatsoever. And I believe 100% he was actually told what he did. He was told this is what you did. That's why he's got a very fuzzy memory on it. So. It's, um, Let's try again. Yeah. Here he is. Matt. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you right now. Are you up on the okay. roof or something right now? No, I'm just I'm just hiding my face. Just hiding your face. Okay, excellent. Yep, you and Sammy look like twins. Hang on. There he is. There's my face. There he is in his mask. Got his mask. And Dave, he's he's not Dave. I keep saying that. He's not. Man, hang on. I've got to figure out how to chase this so I can be in the middle of both of you. Well, technically, mm. I am. <laughs> you saw me, right? Yes. Yeah, I saw you. Yep. Okay, yep. cool. If I'll rob you, I'll be all over you. 
Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, yes. Robbie will be. Robbie I will be all over will. you. If he saw you on camera, mate, he'd be like, oh, Matt. Oh, Matt, you're so sweet. Yeah, I couldn't oh, say Robbie's that. He'd cool be like, oh, me. Robbie's cool. Thanks for calling a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. No. Yep, um, Robbie actually lets me call him Robert. Which is pretty cool. Yep. He oh, said sorry, I'm just reading his stuff. dad. I remind him of his dad because his cool. dad called hey, him I, Robert. I, I, uh... Huh? Matt. Matt. Matt's gone. I think he might have been gone. gone again. Matt's He's gone. He's still there, but he's gone. Okay. I think when you're under the, at the dentist and wake up different room and they tell you you've walked and said what? Yeah, that's right. I can read that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. When you're you're under at the dentist, you wake up in a different room and they tell you you've walked and said this and that, yet you can't remember any of it. Yeah, it's like funny gas. Absolutely. You know, it's a bit, you know, it's, um, it's, it's quite horrendous. And, I will have some news in regards to um, something that um, Chris actually said the other day. I'll actually be sharing that again. Um, Going to share it now? On my channel. No, I'll be sharing it in the members only. Um, something that um, words that have actually come out of Chris's mouth um, in the last week or so, which will um, make you all think, Holy shit, Dave, you might be right. So it will be interesting once you all hear it. Okay, now here's the question that I should ask, and that's hey. um uh hey, yes, Matt. welcome back. Mm-hmm. Matt, uh, Matt, you need you need to get out of the garage, mate, and um get out on the street. Yes, wherever you were when you're on Van's channel the other night, try and go there because the service there was awesome. Um, my membership has currently run out on your channel because I am a mod. Would I still be able to participate in that chat? I believe you can. All right. Well, I'll renew my membership anyway, just in case. Well, you're better. Oh. Just in case. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, you know, to send me the link anytime, so I'll pop up then. Fighting corruption. Ooh. Oh, yeah. okay. Yep, yep, yep. That's fine. Well, the Sorry, thing I thought that was is, else. okay. One thing I can assure everybody that I've got is, in, is integrity uh, and what you see is what you get. So uh, there's no hooplas and carrying on like, uh, you know, I'm the greatest thing since sliced bread and I don't start every sentence with an I. Uh, so, yeah, things things are a little bit different over here. Yes. Yeah. Dave is one of the few people that, you know, he's not – if you're on his panel and you have a different opinion from him, he's not about to abuse you for it, you know, whereas other people, if they're so set in their ways that this and this and this happened and they believe in their head that that's what happens and if you go in there and you try to have a different opinion, oh, shit happens. But on my channel and Dave's channel, if you have an opinion, whether it's different from ours, we're not going to be like, you've got a different opinion from mine, you're blocked. And we're not going to make you feel bad for having a different opinion because it's open discussion when, you know, you're allowed to have that. As long as you're not disrespectful to either family, like the Watts family or the Root Sex, you're allowed to have an opinion. If you think one member of the two members of the family are assholes, keep that to yourself because it won't be tolerated on my chat or on Dave's. So, Correct. Uh, but are you politically correct, Dave? No. No, because <laughs> I actually, I actually, I actually called that person who was on Natasha's channel tonight. Who was coming in with all those different names? I actually called them retarded, which was a bit naughty thing to do. But that person kept calling me a retard. So what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to just sit there and cop being called a retard, not be allowed to call them a retard? <clears throat> so I'm sorry if I offended anybody by saying that, but. Uh, this person decided to call me a retard, and I didn't like it. There's a beautiful compliment uh, from Sharon for him. Came with Davis a million times the man created that then 
shadow man could ever be. Thank you. That's absolutely beautiful. And I do agree with that because, like I said, AD just, I don't know, when he smiles, it almost looks like yes, he's the clown more. from that movie It. Mm. And I mean, like, that's pretty bad to refer to him as a clown, but I'm scared of clowns. So, you know, if the shoe fits, you know, as I say, wear it. But seriously, when he <coughs> smiles, he looks like he's about to grow fangs and, you know, his eyes are about to roll back and they're going to be red and he's going to fly away like a bat. <coughs> mm-hmm. How many are watching? Uh, 34. 34. I said mm-hmm. I'm going to get you to 35, then I'm going to go, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, there's 35 now. Is there 35? Oh, no, it's dropped, yeah. Oh, no, it's dropped down to 34 again. 35. 35 right here. <laughs> I can see 35. Well, there you go. How can, well, look, how can, can you it. make it to – no, no, no. Stay till I get to 40. Oh, my God. Well, 35 go. dropped down to 34 can go, now. Can I go and have a smoke? Yes, you can. Okay. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Okay. See you next time. Thank you. <laughs> oh, he's adorable. Dave is um yes, yes. Dave is so descriptive. I agree. Um, how the hell is Dave meant to feel? Is it beyond? It's beyond me how he's been treated. The bigger. YouTube, the harder you fall. Yes, I do agree with that, but that's why I've also created this um chat where, you know, Dave can talk about anything and everything and then he can just come here and actually relax. And, um, you know, I want him to feel as though, he, you know, he does have a safe... Ha-ha, <laughs> sorry, Dave, guess what? I'll drop down to 29. <laughs> but that's okay because he'll come back. But I want Dave to... Yes, Dave increases mine now. <laughs> it's payback. <laughs> but no, when it comes like I absolutely adore Dave, as everybody knows. Oh, there's nothing that Yeah. He'll always have a safe place on my channel for as long as it's here. And if there's ever any time where he um wants to be able to do a chat where he wants to vent and just have him up here. He'll always have that on my panel where he can come up and he can speak his mind and basically let it rip. <sighs> so I'm not about to um, – thank you, Van. Oh, thank you, Matt. That's awesome. 403. I'm nearly – I'm only um, 100 and um, – no, sorry. 97. I'm going real good with my maths. 97 off 500. So come on, guys. Spread the word, but don't spread it too widely in other chats because I don't want trolls in my chat. Because if I do, I'll just block them. Oh. Yeah, his internet's a bit screwed. Because for those who aren't aware, of Matt, it's okay with me saying it. Matt's in Vietnam, so, you know, the internet could be... Dicey at times. The minute, ooh, excuse me. I guess it wouldn't really matter. There's such an incredible one of the same people there supporting Dave. And they have been so kind to me. Well, Sharon, because you're always beautiful to oh, hang on. Um, how can you message me on Facebook? Um Purple Butterfly. If you want to message me on Facebook, feel free to um if you're okay with it, go on to um, oh, what's it called? My, <laughs> I'm really bad. Go on to my um, what's it called? My Facebook page, True Crime Discussions with Tammy. And if you're comfortable with it, then um, find me in there, and I should be on there. Sometimes I would do a live, and it would say I've done a live. What you do then is you can just click on to the live and it will say Tammy was live or Tammy Wells was live and then you go from there So and messenger. Thank you. That's an easier way to put it, isn't it, there, Sharon? But, yeah, if you need to message me, I'm on messenger and I'm on Facebook, but to find me, just find me through um, my Facebook page. I've dropped down at 25, uh, 29. Sorry. Well, I'm hopefully sorry. I'm back. 
Yeah, okay. they will because you're back. Well, no, no. I was saying, <laughs> I was saying no. about how this place here is a place where you can always come and actually allow yourself to relax if there's things that are going on on your channel that are getting without being disrespectful as my sound, it's not meaning to, if it's getting too hard and you need to be able to vent how you're feeling with it, you can always, always come up here. I'll lay you up on my panel. You vent, you tell people what you really think, and then what you can do then is that you do it on my channel and that way if my channel, without being rude, gets um, striked for all your swearing, I don't care. I'd rather it be mine than yours. When I get struck for swearing, um, the only... I've never been struck on my main channel, all right? So I've got my little music channel that's had two strikes. <laughs> um, but I've, I've never never got in trouble on my, on my um, Seeking the Truth with Dave channel uh, yet. Uh, and But I've had, I've played a couple of, I've played some music a couple of times and uh, it's come up that they cannot be monetized. Uh, but that's it. Uh, so... But um, every other video I've ever made, no matter how many names I've called NK in the past or possibly will in the future, every one of those videos is monetized. Every one of them. You get all sorts uh, you know, of ads, you get biscuit ads, you get all sorts of ads in my lives. All right, there was a biscuit ad apparently came on just after I called NK a skank. There was a, like little kids with biscuits, so it's quite it's quite funny, you know. So how would it be if he was holding the biscuits and he walked up to this person, and then the person that turned around was NK? Yes, my child. No, sorry, bad joke. Yeah, but okay, we should do um a little bit back and forth of what names we have for people in the Chris Watts case. Like I know, like for NK, let's just say what names we have for her. So that way, if people that are tuning Love in... Love of my life. I don't know. To be honest. <laughs> I feel like I want to swallow my own tongue hearing that. Anyway. <laughs> oh, that was horrible. That was mean. A Maphrodite. Okay. okay, yep. She might have both. That's why she wore a brown bikini. And that's why she's the love of your life? She was tucking it in. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> She might be an hermaphrodite. That might be the secret Chris has taken to his grave. <laughs> Who knows? Yes, that is I did, true. I did show everybody um, a search that was done on NK, and it says Nicole Lee Kessinger, born 3rd of May, a uh, 3rd of um, July, 1988, sex, male. Yeah. Mm. So, and I'm not going to, and I'm not going to spell hermaphrodite. That's why I actually say it when I'm actually on a channel. It's a lot easier than typing it. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I think she might tuck it. That might be the secret he's taken to his grave. Uh, so, yeah, um, you've got camel tits, camel toe. Uh, what else you got? You got a few names. All right, we'll just call her um, uh, Captain Fugly. Yeah. Yeah, I said, and you missed it, chick. That's the only time I will say it. Okay. <laughs> and Tammy, you've disappeared, sweetheart. You need to fix your internet connection. Uh, Sugar Beat's taking a Facebook Hi. vacation. Okay, well, you're sort of back now. Oh, Sharon can swear too. Okay, oh, you were so buffering just about then. Did you okay, just highlight well, that message? No. How was that message highlighted? I didn't even press anything. Is That's Van? Are you using Van's Streamyard thing? No, I'm using mine because I pay for the monthly thing. I don't know. You must have clicked on it, sweetheart. No oh, matter what, okay. as you were scrolling. I appreciate his honesty. He makes the effort to play with others. That's important to me. Well, you, well, it's ironic you say that because actually the job I've got where I'm a postie, I absolutely love the fact, the fact that I'm on my own, like for 90% of the day, apart from handing packages to people because uh, I don't play well with others usually. So, mm. but um, I do believe that I, I do make an effort uh, talking to other creators. 
I don't go channel hopping, so to speak. Uh, I usually pop onto a channel if I've been invited. I don't actually just pop on if somebody drops a link. And dropping a link's dangerous these days yep. because, you know, you, you might end up with, I don't know, Critical K's husband showing his willy on, on someone's TV, maybe. Because oh, um, that's what you do in the YouTube world when you want to pop up on someone's panel, as well yeah. as while you have your own channel. By all means, pop up there and flash your penis because everybody wants to see that. That sounds really oh, yeah, wrong. Absolutely, especially ones with the foreskin, they're so sexy. They're just <laughs> absolutely hot, aren't they? Oh, um, no, it looks like an <laughs> anteater. <laughs> oh, one of those Mexican walking fish that's sick. It's just, no. <laughs> well, yes, so as I was saying, we can talk about anything, but now we're talking about foreskins and ball sacks and all that sort of I don't think we actually are talking about that second thing I said, but, you know, we're talking about. And then NK tucking. Yes. See, yeah. my brother. So we could actually is... call her a tucker's daughter. Um. <laughs> Instead of rumple steel skin, it's um rumple foreskin. Yes, exactly <laughs> right. Yep. I think all these are the ugliest <laughs> things in the world. They are, see? Uncircumcised turtle looking thing. No thanks. Exactly. Like, I don't know. They're like yeah. <laughs> Seriously. And we oh, all know something new about Dave tonight that we did not know before. <laughs> ew. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. But ooh. okay. As much as I love Dave, I don't want to picture him that way. <laughs> so I it's think good to that we need laughter to... in chat. Yeah, there's always laughter. I'm glad to see Sharon laughing as well. But no, I'm serious. Like I adore Dave, but there's things about Dave that I don't need to know. That's right. That's right. Yep. That's like so, me uh, saying, well, guess what, boys and girls? My size bra is... Mm, I'm not telling anyone what it is. But if you've watched one of my previous lives, you'd know what it is because of my nicknames for Dave and Dave. So... Uh, well, like double D. Double there D, you go. Double D. So they're quite, they're quite ooge. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. They're quite, they're quite ooge. Voluptuous. There you go. There, there's a word. <laughs> <laughs> but in all fairness. <laughs> there you go. Fighting corruption just ate a sausage sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> That's my bigger day. I just made a sausage sandwich. <laughs> Did you have it with extra sauce? Extra saucy? <laughs> extra onion? I hate being have mayonnaise Sorry. with that fucking corruption. Um, oh my god, oh, mustard. <laughs> if it's got a foreskin on it, then it's extra mustard. See, that is a good oh. word, it is a good word, voluptuous. I think it's a great word. Yep, <laughs> so but Dave is the bigger one, and Dave G's the smaller one, due to the fact that I'm a bigger fan of Seeking the Truth with Dave, and he has a bigger place in my heart. Sorry, Dave G, that's all right. You just yes. spat it out through it in the bin. <laughs> Funny corruption is spat it out through it in the bin. <laughs> oh, my God. Just like oh, Lorena God. Bobbitt did. Spat it out and threw it out the car window. Uh, there was this lady like... in America. Her name was Lorena Bobbitt. Mm. She was married to a guy called Bobby Bobbitt, like whatever his bloody name was. And um, yep. she actually cut his willy off. And threw it out the car window. They eventually oh, found it. They, they fa eventually found it. Uh, mm. Sewed it back on, and then he started a couple of pornos. That took time. Wow! I know. This is, I'm so glad. This, this is yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, you that's just... true crime. <laughs> it's true crime. It, it really well, that's... It's true, it is. But the fact, I know, okay, I'm going to say this in my defence because I'm a bit, mm. um, how is he, like, okay, if they took, say, even longer than five minutes to find it, wouldn't he have, like, like how would they be able to do it? Like, so, put it back on? I don't know. How, I was how jumping to... down the road, wasn't he? You just imagine it just like, just like, just like. 
Sorry, pulsing my... like a like a snake <laughs> when you cut its head off. It's still got the, you know, it's, it's still got all the um, all the uh, what do you call them? The the nerves are still moving. You know, just yeah. imagine it. Couldn't you just is... <laughs> that's my speaker, by the way. That's my that's my um arts and crafts speaker that I made for Mummy Ramblings. Yeah, all right, it's like all, all right, and I put Sorry. the phone in there, and that's my speaker. You know, if you've covered that in contact, that stuff you used to put on school books and all that sort of stuff, in a variety of colours and designs, you could potentially sell them I as part of them. your I marketing. Could, I could even buy that contact from the actual Dollar Tree. Yeah. Oh, right, and right, so right now, here we are, everybody. Me and Mummy Ramblings are going shopping together. <laughs> all right, I'm sitting at the front. I'm waiting anxiously for the shop to open. I've got my trolley ready. I'm ready to go. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm quite sarcastic if you haven't already realised that people that are watching. Yes. Dave actually mm -hmm. balances my sarcasm out. Like I wasn't even thinking about a bloody penis bouncing down the road. Well, could have been. We've had all those little nerves. You know, we probably caught the car. You know, so... Anyway, just that, that, that's that's amazing. But yeah, I'm gonna have nightmares tonight. Oh my god, just laughed and covered myself in coffee for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on, is Emma B okay? Hang on, Emma B, Emma B, Emma B wrote something and someone goes, I hope yeah, that she's yeah. okay. So, oh, I cho she choked on her tea. Hey, Sharon choked you... on her tea. Yep. No, no, no. She Karen choked on Sharon choked on her choked on her choked coffee, on coffee, and um, yeah. Emma B choked on her tea. Yes, I got to buy the balls. Sorry, I got to buy the balls. I got to buy the balls for my um speaker. Yep. I'm sorry, I wasn't meant to highlight that one. No, um, oh. apparently the balls were still attached. There, but um, little Johnny got taken away. Mm. Oh, Emma choked on a tea. Yes, while well, Sharon choked on her coffee. Yep. Yes. Oh, hope sorry, Crazy. Off Say hello to LFT one. for me, please. Yes, I hope she's too. okay. Thinking about her dearly. All right. Uh, sure, What's wrong he with her? Crying, right. but he never... She's okay. Yeah. Yep. Oh, she's okay. okay. Yeah. Yep. No, just when you say that, it looks so serious. When you push your glasses up. Dave, uh, how do we handle the heat right now? Well, it's actually quite cool. It was only 18 degrees, 36. It was only 66 degrees here today, uh, Fahrenheit, which is absolutely beautiful. A perfect temperature with a westerly wind blowing. It was absolutely wonderful. I, at 8.30 this morning, it was three degrees here where I am. So I don't know what that is to convert to other places. Yeah, and I don't, and I don't handle the heat at all. So all fingers and everything that could possibly be crossed, I'm going to be. But moving. the wonderful, the wonderful thing about living in South Australia, though, is you get that really dry, hot, dry heat. Okay, yeah. which is uh, we get all the bloody flies, but uh, we have humidity up here in Queensland. It's seriously, everyone, it's like Florida. It's bloody horrible. Um. And it's not as hot as bloody Alabama and places like that that get up to like 110 with 90% humidity. Um, 90 degrees all week in the UK. Oh, man. I remember it was like that. When I was there in 1991, they were having all these record temperatures. Mm. That was just before I was an armed robber. I was actually caddying in the British Open in Muirfield when I got charged with armed robbery in Australia, apparently. <laughs> I, was actually, I was actually caddying in the British Open at um, Muirfield in Scotland, in Musselburgh, and, or Gullum, whatever you want to call the place. Were you I was actually caddying in the traveling? Air. Hang on, were you doing that, that neat trick that Prue's character did out of Charmed? You can, be in, you can be present there, but then you astro travel out of your body and go halfway across the world. Wow. Nanu, nanu, I'm mock for mock. 
<laughs> yes. Um, no, I hate the heat. Too, I hate so. the heat. I hate the bloody heat. I actually, I enjoyed living in England, except it was a bloody depressing place. Uh, I did enjoy living in Melbourne uh, years ago. Grew up in Western Sydney. It was bloody hot and very cold in winter. But I've lived in the UK and truly really did enjoy it. Uh, absolutely loved it, actually. Mm. Um, yeah, I could go and move in the UK and just do YouTube. I could go and, you know, go down the the M6 <laughs> or the M4 or whatever it is down towards Bristol. Go and catch up with me old mate AD. Yeah. Hello, Governor. How you going? <laughs> oh, all, all right, and Governor. <laughs> <laughs> but um, oh, what was I going to say to you? I had something to ask you, and I can't remember what it was going to be. Yeah, um, you and everyone in chat, please keep your fingers crossed that I get this transfer to somewhere else. Won't mention that area or anything like that until I know for sure. But only selected people will know that. Um, but yeah, please keep your fingers crossed because it's air conditioned apartment. I've lived where I have lived for the last uh sixteen or so years without an air conditioner. So I am begging, keep everything crossed that I get this transfer because I'm remaining positive in my head. Yep. Fingers crossed for you, Tam. Thanks. Um, <coughs> yeah, but I, Thank you. I don't know, whatever that road is that takes you down to Bristol, I was thinking about it. Um, yeah, I was over in the UK a couple of years ago, stayed in Paddington in London, uh, took mum to... Um, down into the West End and showed at Leicester Square and all the theatres and everything. And then we then we drove up to Scotland, stayed in Carnoustie, took her home to Aberdeen. Uh, we did we drive up to Carnoustie in one trip, mind you, direct. Uh, stayed in Carnoustie, straight opposite the, the old golf course where they hold the Open Championship. Um, and took her up to Aberdeen where she was born took her to her little street where she grew up until she was seven years old before she got on a boat and came to Australia. Uh, then we drove back Hello, down Ink. to London a couple more days. G'day, Ink. A couple more days. A um, couple more days in London. Uh, stayed in King's Cross that time. Uh, and then right opposite YouTube's headquarters, mind you. That's where we were. Uh, and then we went and got on the Eurostar, went over to Paris, a couple of days in Paris, um, then drove, so I then caught a really fast train from Paris to Zurich, spent a night in Zurich, then we caught a train down through the Swiss Alps, uh, right up through the Alps. Um, it's a something express, I can't remember the bloody name of it. Uh, and down Apple. into northern Italy, and then we went straight down um, down into Milan, spent a day or two days there, went to the beautiful Duomo in Milan, and then down to Florence we went where we spent three days. I absolutely love Florence. I've been there like six times. Um, absolutely loved it. Uh, got to show mum and Deb everywhere. And then we, we went down to Rome, obviously went to the Colosseum and the Spanish Steps and the bloody that water fountain thing whatever it is um and, and for what it's worth but, yeah and for what it's worth these are places that dave has actually been to not like yeah. in the background there where you see the one dollar store these are places that dave's actually been to like hopped on planes sat in one of those really uncomfortable seats but knowing dave was probably one of the business class seats no 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 uh, not at all. you sat in coach okay yeah, <laughs> but no, horrendous. so these are places that Dave, well, I don't know about that, but these are places Look that Dave was just talking Elena, about. Elena, Queen B. Yeah. Hello, Shalina, 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 Shalina. Yes. Yeah, Dave does get oh. around crazy, Mama. Yes, but when he get okay, now what people have seen when he sits on that big, big recliner. And you'll I have been to we... Liverpool, Sharon. I've been to Liverpool. I've also been to Manchester. I've also stayed in Macclesfield. Did I've you ever see a Manchester Everton. United match? No, I haven't. No. You don't like them, I'm guessing? Okay. 
No, no, Hello, Shimon. Like I said, hello. Yeah, the Trevi Fountain. Okay. That's it, the fountain thingy. Angela, that's where we went. Trevi Fountain. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. The architecture, the, oh, my goodness. Um, oh, my God. It's <laughs> incredible. Unless you've been to Europe, people, and the, the Duomo, the actual, there's two Duomos. There's the big Duomo in Florence, but the one in Milan is unbelievable. Believable. Oh, yeah, that's what we did. Yes, I've been to Glasgow. I've been to Edinburgh. Uh, I've got relatives that live in a little place called Port Seton in East Lothian. Um, went and saw them. I stayed with them 20 odd years. You wouldn't believe it, which I had relatives in East Lothian, in Port Seton, and I caddied at Muirfield. How handy was that for accommodation? Uh, we went, um, anyway, this thing in. I'll show you. Duomo. D U O M O. The Duomo Milano. Duomo di Milano. Images. This thing is incredible. Uh, it, you've never seen anything like it. Uh, save image. I'll throw it in Vans folder and I'll find it. Right at so <coughs> share the screen. All right. <laughs> Can you share my screen, please? Sure, sorry. I'll throw it in Vans folder. Here it comes. Look at this place, everyone. Oh, you ever seen anything like that? That is incredible. The architecture, like how it just looks like like modern but looks old school, if that makes sense. Took them 500 years to build it. 500 years? 500 years. Ah, 500 was... years to build that. The All the little a van has a folder. I feel special. You know why you've got a folder on my computer van, all right? So there's all these little <laughs> no, there's all these little um, figurines that have actually are all created in all the walls. Like everywhere you go, there's little miniature figurines have all been sculptured through all around the place. And when we're in Paris, it um the we actually went into the. Uh, went into Notre Dame. Yeah. And two and a half weeks after we landed in Australia, got home. Yeah. Okay. It burnt down. Notre oh. Dame in Paris. Right. And we were I'm actually there. Two and a, we were there two and a half weeks before. And we're outside. And Deb says to me, Are you coming in? I went, What for? I've been in there before. I mean, they're still dead. Everyone that's in there. You know, all the mummies. All the mum of the other way, like, nothing's wow. changed. They're, 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 seriously, they're still dead. I mean, nothing's changed. <laughs> they're just a bit deader than they were before. Anyway. Hold that thought. When, Shalina, the file is basically that when we send Dave information that we find on um, the Chris Watts case, that's why I'm sure you do have a file yourself, but it's just that if we find something that – Dave might want to bring up when he's doing his particular topic that night. Van and I sometimes send him information in regards to that, so that's why Van has a photo. Nothing personal. That one might be better. Uh, uh, I'll say, I oh, know. <laughs> what have I missing? Oh, uh, Emu. Wow, at Van, real mature. Don't talk to me. Time me out. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, that's so a anyway, thing that, that, So anyway, we, sure enough, I said, right, I'll go inside. So we went inside, walked around. Yep, everyone was still as dead as they were previous time I was there. And um, if not dead, and we lit a little candle in there. Mm -hmm. like, you know, a little tea light. You could light a little tea light when you walk into the uh, into Notre Dame. And, you know, yeah. and you, I don't know. You're supposed to pray or some shit. I don't know. Um. Anyway, I then uh, yeah. And we just got home two weeks later. It burnt, it caught a fire. It was unbelievable. Ah. 
And we were staying how right long did on, it take we not right to dam? We were saying, hey? I was going to say, how long did it take them to build Notre Dame? Oh, it was like 210 years or something. Far out. See, that's when architects actually took pride in their work. Now they can build you a house in a week. Just think you about know? it. Just think about it. How mm-hmm. the fuck did oh, they I get up there? How, how did they get up to the top of this thing that you've got on your screen to build that all them years ago? Oh, seriously, how did they get up there to do it? They didn't have cranes. Crane. They didn't well, have it was taken 500. Okay, when was this finalised at being built? Because the way to cost reference that is to see uh, when the um, last. I'll go. Now, I'll go back to. Let's go back. Just sorry okay, to be a yeah. pain. But it's really it's all right. Um, oh. In answer to your question, so one, Karen. Uh, okay, Malandi to feed to uh, Milan. Uh, where are we? Thirteen eighty-six. The cathedral took nearly six centuries to complete. Construction began in 1386, and the final details were completed in 1965. Well, okay. there you go. That answers your question. They could have just 1965. So yeah, yeah. look just at hang, that. Just, and hang, then on, just, hang, the yeah, just hang on a second. Uh, for me, uh, it's strong. Sharon, hang it on a second. Up sorry. to 1886 is 500 years. So think about mm. that, okay? They started okay. in 1386. All right, and finally finished the last remodeling in 1965. I'm pretty sure all the tippy top would have all been there in the yeah. 1800s at the absolute latest. 1386, yeah. everybody. If anybody thinks America's old, just go to Europe. <laughs> and how do they know it's finished? <laughs> yeah, well, this is true. <laughs> uh for me, Sharon, but I'm not saying this to be judgmental of anyone else's nationality or their accent because I'm from Australia. Any accent is like a thick accent to me, but I can understand everything you're saying to me, so that's actually a good thing. Whereas with some accents on there, I'm like, what? Say what? What, what the f- did I just hear? Hello? Repeat, please. Or if someone's talking to me, if I don't understand them, I listen to key words in the sentence and then just hope that I'm agreeing with what I'm sa- they're saying, which at times doesn't really happen. But no, it's all good. <laughs> that looks, that does, that looks incredible. And you're allowed to go in that structure because there's people lining up out the front. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, and, oh okay. So they're not lining up for their COVID jab or their flu shot, they're actually able to line up and go in there. Yeah, th- Sorry. yeah they're not actually Bad lining joke. up for a flu shot. Um, that is correct. <laughs> All right. How good is this photo? This is my Deb, right? I'll show you this. Okay. I took that. Were you lying down? I lay. I was. There you go, everyone. I was laying on the ground when I took that. I was actually laying on the ground. How did I know that, guys, without actually seeing this picture before? Yeah. I don't know why I did that. That looks incredible. I was laying on the ground. So I thought it was a pretty good photo. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. Down on the ground. Yeah, I thought it was a pretty good photo. And they're probably looking at you like, get off the ground. Oh, no, no. She was bawling her eyes out because it was a dream of hers to be there. She was absolutely oh. bothered. She hasn't stopped crying the whole time. See, so. and this is the kind of see, Dave is not one of those ass wipes that people are saying. He helps make people's dreams a reality. So, and that's beautiful. And not being, I hope it's not noisy. How long were you and Deb together before you took this beautiful trip? Five years. Wow. Five years, and it was her dream. That was her absolute dream was to go to Paris. It was her dream. It was so I took her there. So just because I've been there, it doesn't really matter. Do you want to help make one of my dreams come true too, Dave? (laughs) I just want, if I don't get offered this apartment, I just want a nice home. Oh, okay. No, I'm kidding. No, no, no. Seeing you, and that's a beautiful picture, though. As soon as I saw it, I'm like, you're lying down. But it's beautiful. I love it. The way you take pictures and the way that you're able to cap, like, this is what I love about pictures. There you go. There's my mum and Deb at Arc de Triomphe. Did you go through the tunnel where Princess Diana passed away? No. 
No, I've been through yeah, it. Yeah, no, some people actually find that a tourist attraction. No, but I've been through it. So, you have? Yeah, there's, yeah, there's after Triumph. So um, it's pretty yeah. amazing with some extensive criminal record I have uh, that I was able to. Um, and there's the oh, world welcome, famous. Holly Berry. There's the world famous Louvre. The what? The Louvre. It's a museum. Okay. The most famous oh. museum in the world. That's what that holds the Mona Lisa. Oh, my um, my second oh my great aunt because she's my mum's aunt, so that means she's my second aunt or whatever the hell it is. She actually did a picture of the Mona Lisa, and it is it looks identical to the one that is where in there. And the people actually offered her thousands and thousands of dollars to do quite a few replicas of them, and she refused. There you go. Look, Deb's, she... Deb's, Deb's got her fingers right on the top of the Louvre. <laughs> Look at that. He looks like Isn't he's that? ready to pick it up and go, Yoink. Yep, that's exactly right. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, didn't you know Ninth Realm? I was an armed robber. I oh, know I'm 56. I'm an armed robber, according to Meg Healy, and I have a problem. I'm an armed robber, and, and mm -hmm. I was in um, Europe caddying in golf tournaments, and I was caddying in the Open Championship the week I was arrested. And charged with armed robbery in Australia. Oh, yeah, and you threw, was and you threw me under the bus. Don't and, forget yeah, that. Threw, yeah, yeah, that's right. Threw you under the bus. <laughs> Love the rumour mill. Um, <laughs> oh, it's just, I feel like a lot of people want to think that that's their problem. Oh, well. Uh, There's that Switzerland. Looks... Oh, for all those right. who don't know, this is all photoshopped. No, it's not. All right, because he was in jail. You. I know it's not. I'm being that's right, yeah. Because you're in jail, you have to say that you're there when you weren't, you know. Yeah. So. <laughs> this is when we were on our train trip down through Paris from Par from um, Zurich. Mm -hmm. down to How long did you stay in Paris for, did you say? Oh, there a couple of days. Oh, um, that's beautiful. And travel the world and have a government job as you bloody right, Sharon Ashman. Yep, I'm um, I can travel the world and have a government job. That's exactly right. So, there we are. And, pe and people ask me what the bottom line is of why Dave's my hero, man. Like, come on, he can work for the government, have a criminal yep. record, do all these wrong things. And still have a smile. on Well, he's not smiling now. But when he has a smile on his face, he has a smile on his face while he does it. So it's great. Look at this. This was in Milan. They were filming that latest Ghostbusters movie. Oh, wow. There's the actual Ghostbusters vehicle, everyone. When we're actually Is in the center the of the Milan. Chicks, it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, they were filming the latest Ghostbuster movie. And that's the actual Ghostbuster vehicle. <laughs> so... It looks so weird. It almost looks like it's morphed out of a pelican's butt or something. I don't understand. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I'm doing this on YouTube. I can't believe um, you're actually letting me see these. Oh, Dave, do you um does Deb like Elvis at all? There you go. That gets ignored, everybody. Oh, your mum is so adorable. Oh, my mum is kid. 79 and she walked for miles on her with her new hip and her walking stick. She walked everywhere. So, um, yes, obviously, there we are at the Coliseum. Um, I saw Bon Jovi in New York in 2003. He kissed me for my birthday. Oh, how cool is that, Sharon? How cool is that? Well, I saw Bon Jovi. I've seen him 13 times. Then I find out Bubbles seen him over 50 times. Well, I'm, well, I can beat both of you at that, is that I got Dave to sing me happy birthday twice. There you go. Oh, she's beautiful. We had a photo thing done with each other. No, so. that's a beautiful picture. You both make such a cute couple. All right. So she's absolutely beautiful. Oh, she is. Yeah. And please so. let, I know she probably doesn't know anything about or anything of me, but please let her know that I think she is absolutely beautiful. If Thank that's going to help with, no, no, 
it's fine. Don't thank me for complimenting your missus. It's fine. No, she yeah. looks like she has a very beautiful, caring heart and, she's, you know. She's wonderful. She also yeah. has a great she, government job. It's amazing, isn't it, how we can. <laughs> oh, there I am. That's my profile picture on Facebook. That's, oh, and um, for what it. That's for me on the actual Ponte Vecchio in Florence, everybody. That's um, a famous um, jewellery bridge where you just buy all this jewellery on this actual bridge, the Ponte Vecchio in Florence. That's where we, that's where we were. So Yeah. But here's the worst thing about that. I, I love that that's your profile picture. There's nothing wrong with that. But when Dave calls me through Messenger, he actually has to be on speakerphone because of where certain things line up when he's – not on speaker. <laughs> I'll be talking into your crutch if you weren't on speaker. There you go. Father and son. Oh, ooh, he's cute. I'm sorry. That's Josh. <laughs> Josh and Dad. Went to an Eels Broncos game. Para one. Broncos <laughs> lost. All right. So. Oh, yes. And I then think you I got. Should... I'm just looking at random pictures of dudes going, oh, he's cute. He's a spunk. And that's like, and I took, took, and I took oh, that photo. I love that. Who is, is that, that your, it's who Adam is it? Scott. It's Adam Scott. That is beautiful. No, I'm not yeah. just saying that because you took it or anything, but no, so seriously, that is a beautiful picture. The way the shadow captures everything he's doing, that swinging the, I nearly said swinging the bat, swinging the club. Mm -hmm. That is awesome. I absolutely love that. That picture is yeah. beautiful. But no, it's beautiful. <laughs> Fans timed him out three times. He's officially blocked now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thanks, Emma. Yes. You know what? You know what? <laughs> no. I can't even There you go, everyone. That, there's no. my. That's me. So. It's better and to we show should it over all... here on Sammy's channel, channel where it's a lot more friendlier and chat. Yeah. And, um, people aren't as cruel. So no. I've enjoyed showing all of that over here very much. So, How did you and Deb meet? I think I've asked you that before, but I've forgotten the answer because, you know. We met on the internet. We met on RSVP, which is a legitimate, um, um, it's not, seriously, it's not like a Tinder or anything like that. It's a, a proper where your compatibility matched and all that sort of shit through all the questions and answers that you've given and and yeah. um, a place called RSVP is where we met. Oh, it's and, beautiful. Uh, yeah, so it was wonderful back in 2015. So mm. I hope you've enjoyed that, everyone. I've never done that on my channel, ever, 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 ever. Mm. But... Yeah, you know, so back in 1996 when my son was born, I did pretty well to be in prison and still be able to conceive a child. Um, I think that takes talent, considerable talent. And I was married in 1996 to my first wife. So that did more talent. Sharon, what do you mean by, Tammy, do I go into Dave's Facebook page? No, 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 no. no. Don't worry about it, Sharon. What's going to happen is Tammy is going to create a chat between me, you, and her, and that's mm -hmm. how we're going to start chatting. All right, Sharon? Yeah. That's, how, that's what's going to happen. Well, you do realise that if you're um, on your Facebook, if there's a message, like if your messenger is active on there, she can just go and message you, message you through that. Yes, yeah, she if can. You go I, don't know, I don't know what yeah. security Protocols. Like yeah, that. I don't, I don't know. What I don't remember what I've done, but I know no, not I'm even friends of, I, I'm not even friends of friends can actually find me anymore. So I, I make it very, very difficult for people now. <laughs> now I've, and I now feel I've, very um, privileged that I'm on now I've become a rock star of YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I shall add it to latest feeling. More jealous vibes. I'm so sorry, beautiful lady. Oh, I'm um, sure that, you know, I think it's because, like, I don't know, Dave is, I don't I don't know. What can we, okay, if you could describe yourself in one word, what would it be? 
And if it's an insult, I'm removing you from my panel. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. One word. Yes, to describe yourself. Authentic. Perfect. For a second, then you looked worried, like, oh. No, I was trying okay. to no, remember the actual word. Oh, okay. Okay, in chat, if you're still all listening in, please feel free, if you can, to describe what you think describing Dave in one word. Because it is now 11 o'clock here, and if he's got work tomorrow, I'd rather know that he can go to sleep with a nice, clear mind, knowing that people in chat care. So if all of you in chat could just put one word to describe Dave, that I'll be would back be. In a minute, everybody. Okay, okay, well, don't do it yet. Then. That, that, no, no, then I'll have a look at him. Look at him. No, all right, okay, feel free. All right. All right. <laughs> Stubborn? No, don't call him that. But no, Dave is one of the very few people, that, like I said, and I've always said that I respect on the YouTube community. Um, Van is another one. Sharon, Matt, Shalina, Shalori, Shalina, Shalina. Um, there is a lot of people that I do respect. And yes, Lake Breezes, I agree with that, definitely. Yes. Oh, this is really cool. Yes. I actually think that I made the wrong thing to say. Feel free to when, oh, wait till Dave pops off panel completely before I say that. Yes, he's a genuine truth seeker. Agreed. Wow, there's people in here that have actually started to speak that I didn't even know were in here. I do apologise, uh, Lisso. I'm trying to pronounce your name right. Uh, can I? Okay. This is bad of me. <laughs> Hang on. What is it? Hang on. Uh, at there, we are in bed going on. Okay, that is just something I did not want to know ever. But no, thank you. Like I said, keep the things of what you think about Dave coming, please, because at the end of the day, Dave does put his heart out there when he does these videos, and the fact that. In all honesty, he has been an amazing friend to me, despite what people think. Um, I'm very, very lucky that I know him. Who's blinded by my hero? What? She is blinded by her hero. Wow. Four hundred four five. Ugh. Like messages at the moment. Can you? Oh, there we go. Now it's highlighted. Ah, what's going on there? Who's blinded by her? <laughs> yes, Dave is my hero, but I'm not blinded by it. Dave is just a genuine person who he makes for me. He makes me feel like I can do better at each live, regardless if it's an anything goes night, regardless if I'm talking about Chris Watts, whatever I happen to be talking about. Dave has made me realise that I do have a voice and it's worth people hearing it, so to speak. Yes, definitely down to earth and honest. I agree with that. Um, hello, Heather Snyder. Hopefully I pronounced your right name right. I'm sorry if I didn't. Obviously I pronounced Heather right, but Snyder, I hope that's pronounced correctly. Stubborn. It Thanks. Thanks, Matt. Stubborn. <laughs> There's not. Van, genius. I saw Anna Shalana. Finished. Because I showed pictures of Deb. I'm finished. All right. Finished. The end. All right. Um, awesome, Dave. Real, gentle, awesome, genuine. Apparently, you're, I'm, I'm blinded genuine. because you're my hero. Smart and eloquent. I've never been called eloquent. I don't think NK thinks I'm eloquent. Well, if she's a skank, what would you know? Genuine. Um, Mad Max. <laughs> Honest, genuine. Thank you, everybody. That means the world. The absolute world.
Oh, good. I'm glad, though, Heather. That's good. I was being like, <laughs> but no, when it comes to you, Dave, like I said, you just have a way of putting things into perspective for everybody. And like I said, whether you think of it, the Chris Watts case or just in everyday life, the, you help me more than you realise. So I'll look at something in this way, but then I'll talk to you about it and you'll help me approach it in a better way and a more positive way. So from the bottom of my heart for that as well. Thank you. Uh, Thanos, hello. Um, uh, what's this about? We're praising watching. Dave. There's 41 watching. You just see yes. a record. Um, okay, in regards to what you were talk asking, sorry to cut you off, Dave. Thanos, right. um, what's this about? Um, we are doing a basically an anything goes kind of theme where you can talk about anything and everything. And I try and do these lives before or after, not to being disrespectful to Dave, what I say is before or after he does um, one of his big lives because of the fact that. He, I want him to feel like he's got outside of no disrespect to Deb. He's got somewhere he can come and actually chill out, unwind, or you know, be relaxed before he goes and does one of those said lives. So that's also why I do some of these late at night so that I don't coincide with him because I don't want to go up against Dave. Why so. don't we all do the same thing for Tammy? All right, because Shalane <laughs> Shalane just made a really good point. I've helped boost your confidence. Oh, yeah, definitely. She sees a change. How about everybody? One word to describe Tammy, please. Oh. Having no agenda is an agenda. Okay. That's yeah. good to know. Mm. Yes, Thanos. Mm. Angel. Oh, thank you, go. Sharon. Beautiful outspoken. outspoken. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. <laughs> One oh, word, beautiful. Thank, thank you, Van. Beautiful. Mm. I'm going to get a swelled head. Yep. Okay, Shalana, two words. Oh. There we go. Look, kind. Don't loving, write bush pit. Beautiful. All right. <laughs> Integrity. There you go. Sweetheart. Stubborn. Oh. Hilarious. Oh, God, Thanos. Oh, whatever. I don't know what to do with that. Yeah, I've got a fair idea. Um, Is it what I'm thinking, what I had tried to do to the other person, but someone already beat me to it? Yeah, we just asked for one <laughs> word. Um, Sweet soul, says Heather. Yeah. Um, superstar, nice. Sweet as sugar. Feisty, says Angela. Ink says unique. Provision of very filterless. Yes. <laughs> filterless. That's a good word. Yes. Kind hearted. <laughs> I'm still waiting for your two words, Shalana. There we go. Superstar. Shalana, Shalana. Superstar. Mm. Thank That's you. Beautiful. See? There you go. You are you are very well liked, okay? Very, Thank very you. well liked. Oh, right. wow. Uh, loyal. Well, yes. um, I have a boyfriend, yet I find other guys good looking. I don't yeah, think that's are, very loyal. It's loyal. You're loyal to your those that mean something to you is what she's saying. Yeah. Yes, I okay. know. Strong. Yes. Oh. Angela, thank you. I don't think I am All at the best right. time, but you thank are. you. You are. Now, you just need to, whenever you're having downtime and you're mm -hmm. feeling all upset and depressed, yep. I want you to yep. come back into this chat. All right? And I want you to look at these words that people described you as. No, I will do all that. Right? And then that will, has to boost your spirits, okay? so. Oh, yeah, definitely. It will. So this yeah. is what these people actually think of you. You've got 40 people in here writing absolutely beautiful things about you. So whenever you're upset and you're having a really, really bad day, just pop into yeah. this chat and have a look. I will do. All right, and just Thank take you all so much. And take screenshots of it. Okay. So <laughs> sincerely mean it. Sincerely Hang mean on, it. So it'll, it'll help you feel better. Yeah, 
you guys have all made my day. Thank you so much because I've always found it difficult to talk about issues, but obviously if you watched my last live, that was a little bit of my story and one of these days if I have the courage, I will talk more about my life, but the people that know the ins and outs of what my past was like, they're the people I do consider my family and I do trust them with my life and <clears throat> to be able to talk about that so openly, it'll be very, 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 very huge for me. But it comes down to that I don't want people thinking that I'm telling my story because I want sympathy because I don't. I see it as that if I reveal my story of my childhood right up until now, it might be able to help someone out there who's going through the same circumstances. And even though they might not ever, ever want to start a YouTube channel or put themselves out there, just know that if I can overcome basically childhood abuse from the moment I was five right up until how old was I when it all stopped, including with my par ex-partner, I was about 23. So I had a very, very long period of um, mental and physical abuse. Squitch down a little bit. <laughs> little Dave. <laughs> so what I'm saying is, is that I think that um, that is a story that I will like to talk about, but I've got to be very, very careful when I do talk about my past due to the fact that there are people out there who would like to troll me, and if you want to, be my guest. But if so you're, if I do talk about, about the negative, focus on just oh, focus no, no, no. What on I'm saying is, that was just if there are people out, out, yeah, what I'm saying is, if there are people out there who want to take my story and um, make fun of it, then you're just as bad as the abuser. But at the same time, if you're playing parts of my life to on your channel saying, oh, listen to what she's saying now. Bye, you Sammy. might actually pay a crucial part that might actually help somebody. So be my guest. Whether I don't or I do, whatever I decide to do, it'll be my choice on my terms. Yeah. But I won't put up with the trolling side of things, and that's what's actually holding me back a lot. And Amy wants, um, can we take the wrench off, man? This is getting ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Poor old Van keeps getting timed out. <laughs> oh. Oh. All right. Well, look, I'm going to go. You did reach 41. That's right, Doc. All right. No um, worries. Thanks very much, everybody, for being so great to Tammy. I sincerely appreciate it. I am a good friend of hers. And yes. And I've also got to remember myself. I might have 5,700 subscribers. I also got to remember that 5,500 of them actually like me. So I've got to remember it. Those exactly. 200 um, aren't worth pissing on, are they, Meg? So, <laughs> um, by Daddy Dave, that's exactly right. And she's the only person who's allowed to call me Daddy. Because um, I remember when MCF was doing it with her husband, it sounded so wrong, right? But Shalane has been calling me Daddy Dave um, ever since we met. I met her on True Tam's channel, of all places, mm. in chat when Tam was playing music. It was really yes. cool. And, um, yeah, there she is over there on the resi in California. <laughs> and uh, if anybody ever says I'm racist, well... There's perfect proof right there. Shalane is one of my really good friends, and uh, she's a she's an Indian. Everyone, <gasps> oh my so god, she is a native, all right? As <laughs> is, and um, and Brooks African American. So uh, anybody yeah, who ever thinks I'm racist, you're just, so uh, racist. Yep. Bastard. Yep. Nah, I'm joking. Absolutely, <laughs> Res Wild on the Res. Right. Oh, thank so you, Matt one. Willis. Best show ever. Thanks, Matt. And That's Ian. really sweet. <laughs> yep, it's the latest. I have a casino. Well, tell me a reservation that doesn't have a casino. Seriously, yeah. Shalana. <laughs> uh, um, just watch. That's uh, exactly watch, right, Sharon. One of my favourite shows on TV is Yellowstone. 
and that has got to have i so got to go to my montana um it's absolutely beautiful uh where they film that yellowstone around yellowstone national park it's absolutely glorious and uh there's indians in that and they've, they've got a casino lft look 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 i'm up i'm up he's been well, given his boots to seat yes i got my boots <laughs> oh yeah ninth round I was, I was called that too a while back so it's quite funny yep i'm an armed robber i'm a racist i'm all sorts of things so I just showed everybody what happens if you if you have the worst kind of criminal record, you can actually work for the government and you can actually travel the world. It's amazing. It's amazing what they let you do when you're a former armed robber. Not. Yes. And that's not. why we have that song called I Still Call Australia Home because, you know, you've got to play that. You've got to actually sing that song to I get away with um, robbery here in Australia. Please. And never close down. Yes. Keep singing. It's all good. In old London town. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, huh. I agree with that, what you're saying, Jaron. Meg, we will be watching and we won't tolerate your shit. A hundred percent we won't be. Because at yeah. the end of the day, you might be a supporter of me, but if you're not a supporter of, if you're a supporter of me and you're disrespecting Dave, then you're not a true supporter of mine because that doesn't happen. All right. Well, what are you, are you looking yeah. at the lyrics, Dave? No, no, I'm reading Holly Berry's <laughs> comment. Oh, hang on. Well, I can't. Oh, my God, Tammy. I know how you feel. I was abused from childhood until I was 40. I'm now 53. That's awful. Oh, my God. That's so horrible. I should have eaten this four hours in Yellowstone. Um, I'm so Angel. sorry to hear that, Holly. It's awful. But just remember that you're not in it now and you are a stronger person for finding the courage to walk away from it. So I admire your strength to do that. So for what it's worth, congratulations on knowing when you decided that you had enough. Hey, but when they had good. enough of being traumatising bastards that they are, it's when you decided, and I'm proud of you for that. Sugar beet. Don't say that because there's a Montana in all of our chats. Don't 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 say you see Montana from your house because she'll, she'll think you're stalking her. I'm joking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, and Shalana, I love Native history. This is from Angela. Amazing video I watched the other day about uh, about writing from certain group. It was Genesis, but they'd never seen a Bible show's connection to the Creator. I love to learn. There you go. And yeah, so Shalana's, Shana's NDN. So for those that didn't know, she's an absolute trooper, a war horse, a warrior, and a queen bee. She's everything. Mm. And, uh, yeah, I appreciate having her as a friend. I appreciate having so many friends. Yeah, you haven't told me that yet, Shalana, but I heard it from someone else. Thanks for that. Um, <laughs> my husband bought a house in Montana. He says with such sin sin sincerity. Yeah, thanks for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You told someone else but didn't tell me. Thanks for that, Shalana. I thought we were friends. Um, I see a fan <laughs> from my house. Do you really? I thought she, well, I thought she timed you out, and you can't see it, and you're under the bed hiding. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for popping up here for those brief seconds that you did too, by the way, Emu and Matt. You're welcome to come up here when your internet's not so screwy. And um, yeah, thank you. Oh, okay, <laughs> the husband bought the house in Montana, but she later stopped going. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a casino <laughs> and a reservation. Why would she want to leave? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, far out. Yeah. So, look, I'm going to go. Thanks. Thanks, everyone, for being great, Tam. I appreciate each and every one of you looking out for her, especially if you're in other channels and you see some shit yeah. getting written about her. Defending her might get you blocked, but if you defend her nicely, you won't, I would imagine. But uh, I appreciate everything 
you were all doing for our Tam. She's uh, she gets a bit lost sometimes, and sometimes she needs to be smacked back into position politely. And uh, <laughs> she's um, she's an absolute trooper. Yeah, well, I'm that's it. Here. And I'll let you well, for what it's show. worth, Dave, I wouldn't be where I am now in this community or, and have the friends that I have now if it wasn't for you. So, yeah. And because you make Van, sure you can mince our threesome with um, Sharon Ashman. Oh, yes, right, because, so, yeah. Yeah, we're going to have a bit of a menage a Yeah, but the thing is, Char um, Sharon, because you have a husband. Yes. And as much <laughs> as this sounds horrible, Dave's not legally married to Deb. And yeah. I'm not married to anyone or anything, so it'll be basically <laughs> yeah. just Dave and I and the menage a trois. Oh, the menage a trois. <laughs> menage a trois. <laughs> menage a trois. Should we do menage a trois, s'il vous plaît? And then I'll, get, then I'll get told to fuck off in English. That's what actually happened. I said that when I was, like, 19 <laughs> to two chicks. I went, uh, I would like, which is should we do? You know, uh, je voudrais menage à toi, s'il vous plaît. I would like a threesome, please. And they just looked at me and said, fuck off in English. And they were French, two French girls. Yeah, so th that was actually quite funny. <laughs> you know, I'll, how do you say fuck off in French? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but they, they, they turned around and said fuck off in English. I thought that was funny. <laughs> so I did ask them, uh, uh, Paul Evo Anglais, you know, do you speak English? And... Um, they go, no. So, and oh, cool. She would name a twice they were playing. They said, fuck off. So they, they understood <laughs> fucking, they understood the French and they spoke to me in English. So I don't know how that works. <laughs> oh, anyway, shit. the thing you do when you're 19 before, you, before you're an arm robber. Oh, um, yes. You know, you play around. People get to know you so they can just pinpoint, that was him. That's him. That was him. Exactly. That was him. <laughs> me, 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 me. Oh, wow, really it looks the lady up. says, I don't want to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> She's so jealous. She's well, so Shalina, jealous. it's okay. <laughs> you can have him after I wear him out. All right. Okay. At least that sounded least, so least, wrong. Least, look, nice realm, nice, nice realm. At least you ask nicely. I did say please. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> I did say civil oh, plays, yeah. civil plays, please. Okay. Right. This one. Fuck off is known in every language. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> oh, we've lost Tammy. We just lost Tammy, everyone. Bye, Tammy. It's not nice to be on this show. Little Dave. Look, there he is. Oh, little Dave. Little Dave. Can you hear me? Yep. Little Dave. Yeah, I actually pressed myself end. Oh, hang on. Who's the guest that's coming? No, okay. I don't know. Uh, Are you up there? I'm here. Oh, okay, because it's telling me to invite you on um, stream. No, 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 don't, don't do it. I'm already here. No. Okay. okay. <laughs> Just switch down a little bit more. Oh, for fuck's sake, I'll get a cramp in my leg. I'm getting old. I'm 56, remember? All right. Well, that's all right. There you go. <laughs> Little Dave. Got to go to work. Bye, everyone. See you, Miss Jones. <laughs> Thanks for popping in, Mrs. Jo Miss Jones. Sorry. Thank you for popping in. Oh, this is what I always say when you see me in chat when he's on this chair. I say, switch down a little bit. This is what I mean by him. So you can see. <laughs> okay, Dave, I don't want you to. <laughs> I don't want you to hurt your back. So please hop back on your booster seat. Okay. Oh. Thank you, because I don't... Hang on, I'll go, go here, I'll go here. I'll go on this one. <laughs> this one's a bit more comfy. There you go. <laughs> Rocking around oh. the Christmas tree. There you no, go. No, like... You know what's really weird is that I absolutely hate that chair. It is... Oh. Oh. Anyway, it looks really uncomfortable. Because of how poofy it is, not well, pillowy it is, I should say. Sorry. Mm, yes. I know. But I could be, you know, I could be. Um, you know what else? Ned, okay. I, I could be Ned Stark. See? Ned Stark. Winter is coming. That's my throne. 
Yes. But don't forget, though, the person that ended up sitting on that at the end, I think it was um, Cersei. Daenerys. Or Jon Snow. No, Daenerys didn't. Jon Snow killed Daenerys. Yes, I know. Because it turned out to be his, <laughs> his auntie. Yeah. And oh. what better way to say, you will not talk of this, you will not speak of this again. See ya. And now I I'm love Larry's, Alicia, I'm in Larry's favourite room now. This is Larry's favourite room. This is where he goes to go on YouTube. <laughs> And this is why we only see the sidewood lad face of him. We only see one side of him. Is that one? Is it all? No, there, yeah. But yeah, I can still see the other side. No, you need to turn more to your um, left when you do the side look. Yep, and then turn. Yep, there you go. <laughs> Just a little bit more, a little bit more towards the toilet. <laughs> but he. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, yeah, this is Larry's. This is Larry's seat. This is this is where he goes when he's, actually, when he's actually on on um, YouTube, right here. Yeah, but for those who aren't aware, he actually has a porta potty that sits underneath. That he has one of those chairs that has the chair that has the toilet in it, so then he doesn't have to move. And that's why we were telling everybody up he was on YouTube and went and did a number two. Hello, high priestess. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's not worth it, Night Thrall. It's not worth it. <laughs> no, everyone's. I oh, call him Lord Voldemort. Don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. The That's question. what I was going to say. It's not worth right, it. So. Now I'm going to get Mona run over with the lawnmower. Chris is about to come past me. <laughs> um. It's going to get run over little Dave's like in the gutter. And that's probably where, yeah. But you know, you know the other day on your live when you said you'll go there with a whipper snipper and stuff, if you're technically, if you're standing on the footpath, if you're standing on the footpath and you extend the whipper snipper, you are technically a passerby. So technically you're not trespassing on public property, private property, if you're standing on the footpath. And we're just dipping it, you know. Is Red X here? Hi, Ravi. <laughs> yeah, There's for those Amber. who hey, don't David. know. Hey, Tammy, look, here's Amber Truth Seeker. Now, Amber, are you going to join me? Are you going to join me, Amber? I'm doing our members only. Meet your mods. And you're, a, you're still a mod on my channel. Anyway, look, there's Robbie. All right. So, good old Robbie giving me a cuddle. Oh, your own. And there's our favourite man yeah. right there, shitting bricks. He's got no idea what he's about to see on the camera. Did you read this? Red X is giving me a mod on Saturday. Is is giving me a mod? Is making me a mod? She means, I think. Wow. See. Look Why is everybody it, stealing my mods? Get I your own. Know. Well, she was actually Robbie's first. Yeah, but then Robbie, yeah, well, I don't care. I don't okay. go to Robbie's channel anymore. So okay. I'm saying that you've stolen her. Now Kim Red X is stealing her. <gasps> I know, I know. And I've it's just so um, I've right. just met a wonderful lady called Tracy Walker. She's absolutely lovely. Um, Shalane mm -hmm. Shalane has been watching her for a while. She's been stalking yeah. her. And I uh, just made Tracy a mod on my channel, and now I'm making beautiful Sharon Ashman a mod, the most respectable lady you can also possibly have in YouTube chats. She's amazing. Yes, that's why I made her a mod, because she's always been polite to me, regardless if it's in your chat or my chat. She's always been a beautiful beautiful kind-hearted lady and i appreciate yep. her immensely so and amber truth seeker for those of you that don't know amber's actually got her own true crime channel um she's actually got fucking shit loads of subs she like six thousand subscribers or something um and she's also half you know she plays a significant role with kelly on the wonderful channel cdt okay so um amber welcome welcome Welcome, yeah, welcome, definitely. Welcome. Thank you for 
taking time out of your day to be in my chat for such a small little channel in comparison to yours. Thank you. <laughs> it's an honour to have you here. Thank you. There you go. Yeah, the CDT is my better half. There you go. So, don't say that stuff when Shalana's in here. <laughs> she's bloody annoying, isn't she? Yeah, she just know. wants you all to herself. <laughs> oh, all right. I could just imagine it. What would happen? No. Uh, Shalana? I seriously I think, I seriously think he has no <laughs> idea. When you see that picture, when you see yep. that picture of Chris, I seriously, mm -hmm. I think he's looking at it thinking he's got no idea what, he, what he's actually going to see. Because I don't think yeah. he has any recollection of what actually occurred. I don't, seriously, I don't think he has a clue. No, I don't think delve, he does We're actually going to delve into this um, a lot deeper in the next week and a half, mm -hmm. myself and Red X, and explain to you all why. So because be... the, the thing I've no I'll say this now, so it's not necessarily you heard it here first, but when I look at his like I watch people's eyes, regardless if it's watching them on panel, regardless if it's watching a video, I watch Chris's eyes and when he's in the house and explaining that she went to a friend's house and all that. Highlight sort of comment. Highlight a comment. Which uh, blah, 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 blah. you'll see the one, the important one. You'll see it above Sharon Ashman's. He is innocent. That one? No, lower. I've seen. <sighs> no, up just above Sharon. Yeah, that one. Just above that one. Just above. Sh there we go. There you go, everyone. Because, Mr. as I was saying, you watch his eyes when he's talking about certain things. His yes, eyes are behind. Yes, Amber. That's exactly when he did. Was it like 440s? When is it? Oh, no, I oh, don't look at the body cam up there because that's Dave's body cam. That won't give you the time. Yes, but it was yeah. that time, wasn't it? When, yeah, I seriously don't think he has a clue. Hi, Catelyn. Thank you for joining us. I think. Yes, you. welcome here, Catelyn. I'm glad you could make it. I showed a heap of my Facebook photos of my travels, um, mm. those of you that are just joining us. So that's what we sort of went through here. Yeah, he was a patsy. I think you're damn well bloody close. Oh, we're not oh going that's to really Eastern, awkward. I, I read that nasty. Yeah. yeah, no, patsy. Um, and <laughs> he's, yeah, I believe he killed nobody. That's just my opinion uh, yeah. based on everything that I've gone through. Seriously. Because you remember what I said to you ages and ages and ages ago, pretty much when we first started talking, I said, how about people are going to be shocked when they dive into this case more and it's going to be proven. Well, not proven, proven, but people are going to have second thoughts that Chris was involved. And so many people laughed at me with that, saying that, because I always look at, like I said, I look at people's eyes and I always see if they've got caring eyes, trusting eyes and all that. But when Dave, Chris, Dave when Chris is talking about um, the girls and all that, when he's in the um, closet and he's pointing out that they went to a girl's room and, and all that sort of stuff, you compare how his eyes look there to how they look here. They look so scared in this yep. video. But okay, when he's you, in the closet you, and talking. Yep. Sorry, no, higher. Not that Amber one. No, keep going up. The next Amber one up. There we go. Now, Amber. Amber, I've got a question to ask you. Are you Kim G? Amber? Amber? Space and a full stop, everyone. Look at that. Space and a full stop. What the hell? <laughs> I'm kidding because I'm, I'm, I know her. But she's done it again. Correct, Tammy. His statements don't match the autopsy of the crime scene. Space then a full stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, Amber. <laughs> because that was buffering on right. my end, I missed all of that. Okay. If everybody knows all the messages I showed on my channel the other day from Kim G., 
she does a space then a full stop a space and a comma a space and an exclamation point um or no, she yeah. does a space then a um you know or whatever but so amber's written me too sugar beet space then a full stop but uh that's why i was just saying amber are you kim g <laughs> so i'm kidding amber i'm kidding all right so i know how you actually write and uh <laughs> <laughs> oh yes i always put a space before my punctuations well so does kim g <laughs> <laughs> Correct, Tammy. Look at that space. Yeah, full stop. I don't, I, yeah. <laughs> His statements don't match the autopsy <laughs> or the crime scene at Survey. No, they do not, Amber. Exactly, and it's also me. the I'm fact. Kim G, Chris's lover. <laughs> <laughs> oh, time out! No, I'm joking. Um, the thing as well, though, is that when you look at it, like I said, in this picture, his eyes look so scared. Like, and the thing that I don't get, though, is that when they interviewed Chris and did the lie detector test and all that sort of shit, when they gave him the results and everything like that, his back was to the door and his back was to the camera. So that's why I always ask myself, was that actually Chris in the interrogation room after he was, like, he was arrested? Yes, we saw that that was Chris being arrested. We saw that it was Chris being led out of the room. We saw that it was Chris when he first walked in. But if you pay attention to the clock in the background from the moment they start the real lie detector test until that is over, the time goes real quick. Because what I'm thinking is could there have been someone else that stepped in for Chris to do the lie detector test knowing full well that the person that was doing the test would have failed it? And then by the time it comes back, Chris is back in the room and um, they get and say, well, you failed. Because, of course, someone that's an imposter that's stepping in for Chris is not going to know where the family is. He's not mm. going to have a clue. Whereas with Chris, it's like, could someone else have done something? Could they have, like, doctored, doctored that video to make it look like it was actually Chris being interviewed? Because you can make anyone look like anybody. No, in the, in I know the, in the polygraph, he's like side on. In the polygraph, he's actually side on. Because he's side on, because his finger is going diagonally across the table, into the little, you know, the little thing that does the pulse thing on his finger. Mm. It's actually going diagonally across the table. Uh, it's later on when his back's completely to the camera. But during the inter during the polygraph, that whole four and a half hour bullshit that went on, um, yeah, not sure why, but how, but yeah. It's uh, as, but when he's back to the camera, something happens to the clock. I know something yeah. weird happens with the clock. I know they cut out a lot, and absolutely, I know it for a fact, an absolute fact, everybody, um, that they did cut out a lot and they, um, they messed with the clock, they messed with the words that were coming out of people's mouths at a certain time with the clock. Um, yeah, they absolutely they botched it. In a massive, massive way. I have to go, everyone. I have two massive days ahead of me moving. Love you to be it's Tammy, so you can drift with Dave. You both did fabulous. Life. Thanks, Van. So Thanks, Van. And you, good you, luck you with and moving, Amy. sweetheart. You and Trent. He said the toys and blank kids' blankets were under the sheet at Survey. Yeah. Nope. That's just one example. <laughs> yep. Because, um, as I've said, what the fuck was Troy doing out there on Tuesday? That's the big one for me. That's is he in with it? You know, I mean, is is the truck driver in on it with Troy, the water truck driver? Because what the hell was Troy doing out there? I think he was digging. I seriously think he was digging a grave. How could he have been exactly thirty feet from the grave, thirty feet from the grave, and not say to the police, "I saw the grave." He was 30 feet from it. 30 feet. 10 metres. What? 11 yards or 10 yards or 28 metres, whatever it is. I mean, 10 yards, 9 metres. Do you think that by me saying anyone that was interviewed more than once should have been fingerprinted? 
Do you think that is... Uh, Everybody's uh, sorry, been I, Everybody. Everybody out of survey on Monday morning should have been fingerprinted. And anyone else, especially uh, MK, should have definitely mm -hmm. been fingerprinted because I don't believe those charges that Plunder came out with all of a sudden they came yes, across like I am. these charges um, against NK. I believe, you know, they would have come across them earlier. They were planted, those charges, that actually state mm -hmm. NK is five foot one when she actually said Chris is quite short and he's 5'10", five 5'11". Five and she actually said he was short. probably used to dating giants, the one that, you know, the further away from the smell of us. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Okay, now, Dave, I have a proposition for you, but this is obviously when you're free and you're not doing your own thing. Um, would you be prepared to pop up here at one stage and have a QA and a with me about what you think with some of the things of Chris Watts because you need to get some sleep, sweetheart, because it's like 20 to 12 and you've got yeah, work yeah, tomorrow. I'll be, I'll, be, I'll, be happy to, I'll be happy to do that. All right, cool. Well, we'll I'll arrange it when you're... Some, yeah, well, yeah, at some stage because I'm going to be busy with Red X, as you well know. Uh, you're free we've and you're got, not busy. We've got some yes. lives that we're going to schedule on our, as members only lives um, on each of our channels. There'll be one week it'll be over mm -hmm. on hers for members only, one week it'll be at mine for members only uh, because we're going to go in great detail and I'm going to disclose a little bit of information that I've come across very recently uh, that will blow your minds. Uh, so I'd rather share that with my members. Uh, so and we're going to go in depth. Well, and let me know when you're doing that. And then I can remember in this case that we need to really delve into, and the biggest thing in this case is Dirty South, and that is going <laughs> to be huge. Yep. Yes, right. well, Dirty South is the one. But like I've said to you, every time you say you want to talk about that, I am saying it again with every thirty, every single person in here, all three thirty-three of you. Please be careful. Yeah, I'll be careful. I'll be careful. And if you think that people are starting to, you know, attack you on your channel and it gets too much, please know that my panel is always here for you to take over the show. I'll give you my login details for StreamYard mm -hmm. if I remember them all. <laughs> and you can then voice them all over here if you want to as well because you don't want people to troll you on yours. You always have my panel as your second Thanks. chat panel backup. Yeah. Thank you, sweetheart. I appreciate that very much. That's okay. All right, kids, everyone. And mind you, I might get up to 5,000 subs because you'll be over here instead of on yours. This is true. This is true. Yeah. But you have gone up. To, you've gone up to, um, nine subscribers. Um, yes. You've gone up to 409 or something, 408 subscribers. Um, well, if it's 409, that's 10 new just tonight. There you go. There you go. So, that's awesome. Pretty scary shit. All, All right. right, well, you go get some sleep and, like I said, please let Deb, 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 Deb know that I'm very thankful that she allows you to come onto my panel and just be my best friend. So let her know that I'm thankful no to worries, that. No worries, no worries. She knows of my existence, if she doesn't, yeah. then don't bother. And Shalane's got a shed for me to hide in. That's cool. All the way over there in California. I just need to get a few emails slick and then I can say I'm famous. <laughs> Back right. from things all right dave we'll have a great night sweet i'll see you on the weekend and then on your panel see you kids <laughs> all right. bye all right bye that was seeking the truth with dave he is amazing and um shalina i mean this with absolute love sweetheart he is a beautiful caring kind-hearted soul that i would be lost without knowing Oh, thank you, Bethy Cakes, and welcome. I tried to say welcome to you before, but as much as we all know, I couldn't get a word in with Dave. So <laughs> I apologise for that. And Dave is bloody amazing. He is, oh, thank you, Ninth Realm. Thank you. Um, yeah, Dave is the kind of person who will always be in my heart and I will treasure forever. So. Sweet dreams, Dave. Don't dream of any skanks in brown bikinis now. <laughs> I can see it now. Dave wakes up in the morning, goes downstairs for a cup of coffee. Deb goes, you're tossing and turning like all night, Dave. What's wrong? 
That fucking bitch Tammy told me not to dream of skanks in brown bikinis and all I could think of was NK. That effing bitch. <laughs> oh, thank you, Catalan. That is very, very, very kind of you to say. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um... <laughs> I'm assuming that's in response to my brown skanks in brown bikinis. Um, but, yeah, I just, I find, like I said, sometimes I could be finding myself very, very, very lo lost and sometimes very, very confused, confused. But thanks to people like Sharon, Shalina, Dave, all the people that I love and hold dearly and um honoured to call a friend have helped me through it so there you go Shalina he has announced it to all 32 people in here that he loves you yes he really he does love you you know that he thinks the world of you he thinks that you're incredible and a very very important person to him so and if you're lucky enough to have that Oh, I can't believe Dave stole you as a mod, Sharon. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. But like I said, it's just, like I said, one day I'll tell a little bit about my story, my life. But for time being, I think I need just to wait and see if um, it's okay to talk about. But let's just say my life's never been smooth sailing. It's always been something that I fear more than I enjoy. I um I try my hardest, and I mean I try my hardest. Oh, oh. Oh, yes. On top of, in order to be okay, in order to, you know, be better than I was the day before. Um, I might at times fail. And I mean fail. But you don't know something for nothing. <laughs> Thank you, Catalan. That's very sweet of you. Thank you. Thank you, Sugar Beet. Like I said, I try every single day to try and better myself from the previous day. And there are people that are in my life that encourage me to do that. There are people in my life that discourage me to do that. But the difference is, is that instead of going, which way do I go? Do I go to the failing side or do I go to the succeeding side? Yeah, for what it's worth, I cut right down the middle. Oh, okay, Ink, take care of yourself, sweetheart. Um, no one can ever take me down as far as further than I can take myself. Okay, Sharon. <laughs> yes, Sharon, I'll talk to you soon. But like I said, I am going to wrap these things up because uh, Shalana wishes to talk to me in PM and also because it's 10 to 12 here at night and I am pretty tired. <laughs> but uh, like I said, just remember, the only person who can teach you how to overcome any obstacles is yourself. You can go and see – love you too, Sharon – you can go and see a bunch of shrinks. You can go on all this medication to help you feel good about yourself. But at the end of the day, that choice is yours. 
if you as like for me, I'm not on them anymore. But when I was on my antidepressants, I subconsciously every night before I went to bed, I took my antidepressants. And now because of this thing on the side of my neck, I have to discontinue all medications, but I stopped them before the doctor said that. Thing is, though, is that if I can subconsciously remind myself every night before I go to bed to take my tablets, I can remind myself every day to say something positive about myself. Matt Willis, <laughs> don't rub it in, Dave. I've got none. I haven't been able to get to the shops because everywhere around me where I could possibly get to the shops, it's all in bloody like a hot spot for me. So, Dave, blow it out your ass, boy. <laughs> oh, Dave, I can make a I can make a group chat with um you and Shalina and I too, if you like. I have more group group conversations going on in Messenger than I'll have anywhere else. So yeah, so I'll create I'll I talk to Shalina one on one and then if she wants I can create a group chat with both her and Dave and then create a group chat with um Sharon and Dave and I. And yeah. <laughs> Okay, guys. Well, like I said, thank you all for being in here. Thank you, Matt, for popping up and trying to pop up as much as you did. Um, it means a lot. Thank you, Van and Trent, who are known as in here as Van and Emu, which is a very weird name to call yourself, but still. Um, thank you for popping up here. And more than anything, the person who stayed up here for most, if not the whole live, is Seeking the Truth with Dave. Thank you, thank you, thank you for giving me just a part of you thank you for being my best friend thank you for being my strength and my wisdom and not throwing me under the bus regardless of what that troll had to say um so it's all right christine i will share more as time goes on oh i see how it is then dave <laughs> I can't even blow a raspberry. <laughs> no, I'm actually quite offended by. Oh, whoops, sorry. I'm actually quite offended by that, Dave. I see how it is. Good enough when you want something, and then you throw me out like yesterday's trash when you don't. Joking. Oh, I'm gonna read that comment because that's actually really nice to read. That thank you, Sharon. But like I said, I'm going to go to bed. Try and get some sleep. And um, Shalina, I will message you. <sighs> Excuse me. But uh, 409, wow. I'll just keep rambling and rambling and rambling. Oh, thank you, Dave. I love you more, sweetie. Even though Dave's only technically 12 years older than me, he is... One of the, yeah, 12 years older than me, I think. Yeah, he's 50 now, I'm 39, yeah, 11 years older than me, but by his birthday he'll be 12 years older than me. He is what I would love to have in a father. It sounds weird because of how many short years apart we are, you know. Oh, thank you, Gypsy. That's very sweet of you. Thank you. But I'm wrapping things up now. Sorry. Uh, uh Okay, Dave, I'm going to have to get you to send me um, a message on Messenger. Oh, au revoir. Never mind. Au revoir, everybody, says Dave. I'm get I'm hoping that's what I'm pronouncing it as is au revoir. Um, thank you, Holly. I do mean that. Thank you. But like I said, when um, – this is – a okay, I won't go into my teenage years till a bit later, but – at the end of the day, it comes down to the growing up. Yep, ciao. Growing, oh, yay, 410. That is so cool. Um, I grew up with a father who was, in fact, an alcoholic, a mother who she didn't have a drinking problem, but she didn't do much to prevent my dad being abusive. Um, 
I grew up always believing that I was worth nothing. And um, I actually have believed that still for a very, 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 very long time. Um, my sister fell pregnant at 16, which wasn't a problem. My parents were fine with it. But my dad's response to me when she moved out was if you fall pregnant at 16 or 18 years, um, I'll rip it out with a rusty coat hanger. My mum's response to that was, well, you got to understand, you know, he was very hurt by your sister getting pregnant and moving out of home. It's like, well, <laughs> okay. So, you know, I was always having to watch everything I did and everything I didn't do, try to make my parents proud of me. And no matter how hard I try, it never, ever, ever worked. I'd get an A in school. I'd get asked why it wasn't an A+. Plus, or if I mispronounced a word at some point because of um, my Cornish blood in me, which is my mum's mum, she has she's Cornish, part Cornish. So sometimes I'll say things that sound different than they would in other world part other times and sometimes I'll say it so it sounds um, English, sometimes I'll say it and it sounds like I'm being a little bit of a someone from over in, you know, Cornwall. But I don't think it's um, the Cornwall accent, so I wouldn't know. But, um, yeah, so I grew up, like I said, thinking that I was never good enough, thinking that I had to always try my hardest to um, better myself and try and prove that, you know, I wasn't a bad person. I spent most of my childhood, a lot, I should I just say a lot of my childhood protecting my mum from my dad. And to this day, she refuses to acknowledge that I did any of that. So for me, it's like, you know, young child trying to protect my mum being hit against a grown man when as much as it sounds horrible, my mum should have left end of the day my mum should have left him but she didn't and then um you know I see it as like I said trying my hardest to get my parents approval trying my hardest to do things that I thought they would be proud of like we in primary school we did this um thing called jump rope for heart and I was really 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 good at it you know and well according to as I was but you know I raised quite a lot of money but my dad, being my dad, took the money and bought alcohol with it and refused to give it back. So I got in a lot of trouble for that. And um, But like I said, at the end of the day, it comes down to every single little thing that's ever happened in my life. Oh, thank you, Gypsy. Every single thing that's ever happened in my life, whether it's good, bad, scary, exciting, or whatever it happens to be, it has taught me a very valuable lesson. And <laughs> and so from something you've done bad, Today. Well, what I learned that I learned to walk away this time. That is something that you can take into the next day and go, great. I walked away that time. So that way, if this happens again today, I can do the same thing and I can walk away. And as you get used to it, it's because of the fact that you keep training your brain like you would if you're taking medication, not asking any of you to stop your medication. Continue with it if it's doctor recommended. But what I'm saying is, is if I can train my brain to take an antidepressant every night before I go to bed, I can train myself every single day before I go out that door of mine that leads out to the big wide world. If I can train my brain to leave the bullshit behind and put one foot in front of the other and continue walking away from it, then I'm, I'm actually doing better than I thought. Not only have I stopped choosing to take, take my antidepressants, but I need to be able to deal with things in a and isn't and in my personal presence were doing to me, they were numbing me. 
I wasn't able to feel what I was feeling because of them numbing it. But that's my that was my doctor said, Well, this lump on the side of my neck, you did also continue saying, Well, I wish you to take discontinue all medications. And I'm just like, Already there, Dick. But um such a strong such I'm sorry such a positive gypsy how like I said I wanted to be upset about something I wanted to be able to cry about it. don't cry Holly I wanted to be able to cry about it if I was happy about something I wanted to be happy about it I did not want this tiny little 50 milligram or whatever it was tablet telling me how I should feel when I should feel it. But like I said, that was my choice. I don't recommend it to other people because at the end of the day, some people might need their antidepressants. So, um, okay, hang on a second. I'm just going to do something else. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know what actually happened. Um, <laughs> that's a long time. So I don't know what happened there. But thank you for that. I much appreciate it. Well, that is wow. <laughs> thank you.
Uh, just give me one sec while I try and find something. Please, just give me one sec. Um, let's see how we go with this. I'm actually quite dense at the moment. Give me one sec again. Sorry, guys. Just one sec, please. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Uh, I already did, Shalina, and um, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That was very, 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 very kind of you to do that. Now, hang on. Um, okay. Now, I won't usually do this, and after recent events, there are reasons why I won't. But thank you, Shalina. You're very, you're very generous, and you're very kind. Now, I'm going to do something that might be wrong of me, but I shall do it anyway because why not? That is only if people want to. There is no pressure. <laughs> Thank you, Shalina. I, appreciate... <laughs> I so appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, darling. That's very kind of you. But like I said, it comes down to the fact that I'm posting that. I will post it not very um, not as often as I used to. But there will be times when I do. And um, yeah, so <laughs> I am actually doing whatever I can to do what I'm doing. Um, but like I said, at times, back to what I was saying about my past, and I don't talk about my past to have people think that I'm doing it for sympathy or anything like that, because it's far from that. I'm talking about my past because it might be able to help somebody. It might be able to inspire somebody that, you know what, they don't need to put up with that shit in order to function. But like I said, with me not taking my antidepressants or me discontinuing them, that is my choice, but then enforced by my doctor. It is not something that I turn around and say, this is what, you, this is what I recommend to everybody. You know what I mean? I basically have this theory that if anyone out there is feeling like I just felt numb, you know what I mean? And it was like someone would say something to me and it would be the most hurtful thing you could imagine, like getting called a stupid, dumb, useless cow, for example, you know? Not only is it being called stupid, it's also being called useless and dumb. So stupid, useless, dumb cow. I have been called that quite a few times. But the thing is that's different is that I choose to look at it as I might be all those things, but you also called me a cow. And a cow for a non-vegetarian is very useful to people. Yes, I agree, Shalona. See, here's the thing. I'm scared to get the COVID jab, but I'm scared not to get it. Now, I only know of one, per two people, but one I speak to quite often who's actually had round one of the COVID vaccine. And shortly after this said person got it done, he developed a bad cough. I got really scared because he's also a smoker. And um, it scares me. Oh, then I know two people that got it. 
but it just it scares me it scares me if i get it and it scares me if i don't but i am going to end up cutting this chat short and um i may do another live later in the week but i may not see how we go but please tune in to Seeking the Truth with Dave on Sat Friday, where if it's Friday where you are, and Saturday where he is. And so the Indian clinic shoot us up with every vaccine. I might move to India. Sorry. But um, no, I just, you know, you get a chance to meet Dave's mods. You might actually get to see a sneak peek of me wearing my glasses. Lucky, lucky you. That sounds great, Matt. But um, like I said, I might do a live on um, Sunday. I might do a live Friday. I don't know. How about you guys, the 17 that are in here, would you like to have me back up here rambling incoherently on Friday? Uh, Friday. On, I'll say Thursday night because I'll be Friday morning for you guys. Yes, please, please do, because I actually thought that she was, um, <laughs> I thought she was actually going to be respectful of Dave, but she's clearly not. And as I've said, if you're not respectful of Dave, then you can get the fuck off my channel too. Because if you respect me, you got to understand that the reason I'm here doing what I'm doing, telling my story or whatever it is I'm doing, I'm doing this because Dave gave me the courage to. Um, Dave is the kind of person that <laughs> uh, I'm sorry I'm sorry Ink but um, yeah please remain polite when you're in here please remain respectful anybody in here who has an issue at any given time regardless of what I have <laughs> okay, Matt and Shalina, you can hold hands and you can time out and block the bitch together. I think, you, okay, if you blocked her twice, yeah, you did on both channels. Now, just whatever you do, if she comes back in here, whatever you do, do not time her out, just instantly block her. Yes, Matt Willis would definitely protect me. He's a good guy. He's one of those few people that I honestly trust. But anyway, I'm sorry to do this to you guys. I'm going to go to bed. Like I said, I'm very tired. And um, I don't know what... Well, I've got to go have a shower. Excuse the visual for all those involved. But... <laughs> oh, Matt, I wish... I know you lived in Perth, honey, but I just wish I got a chance to meet you if you ever came over to Adelaide. Oh, I think I would, like, yeah. But at the end of the day, most guys, when they look in my direction, they look the other way because <laughs> I'm no prize but um, and I'm no supermodel or anything, but you know what? I know something for nothing. I might not be supermodel thin or anything like that, but I try my hardest to be accepting of everybody. And for what it's worth, that makes me beautiful. You don't have to have flawless skin or the ideal supermodel waistline and, and all that sort of shit. But show respect because here's the thing, though. Don't go showing it to other people before you show it to yourself. No, I don't often, no. But I'll, I'll be on camera on Dave's live and, um, no, and Shalana, I'm afraid to let people see the real me if that makes sense, the one that is crying on the inside nearly every day. Reading those beautiful comments you all wrote to me made me feel so special and I appreciate every single one of you who wrote and does write beautiful things. <laughs> yeah, so thank you all from the bottom of my heart. Hang on. Where is Meg? Dave never said that, Meg. What? Hang on.
Ink. What do you mean? Where is Ink? Um, well, not Ink. Where is Meg at the moment? I'm confused. What do you mean by that? Oh. <laughs> yes, I worry about my cleavage showing too much on panel when I'm talking to people. But, hey, if you've got it and you're comfortable, yeah, no. <laughs> but if I can make an old man or an elderly man or a young man or whatever, anyone that's older than me, I consider old, so don't take offence, guys. Um, I see it as they, if I can show a bit of cleavage and make them smile just a little bit, it's worth it. Uh, Ink, I think you're very, very, very behind. She's been blocked, sweetie. <laughs> it's all good, though. All right, guys, I'm going to call it a night. And just remember, like I said, the only person's opinion that should ever really matter when you approach each day is your own. If you have self-doubt, find a way to ask yourself if there was someone in your life that you cared about their well-being and everything like that, what advice would you give them to snap out of it? Not necessarily snap out of it, but what advice would you give them to help them feel better? Here's the thing, though. If you're, I, I'm, I'm guilty of this. Please remember, every advice that you give to someone else, take notice of what you're saying to them because at the end of the day, you could be potentially helping them. And, um, yeah. But like I said, I'll probably come back here on Friday night, maybe, see how we go. And now that I've got unlimited streaming, I probably won't be on here as much, but I'll try my best to be. <laughs> uh, but like I said, thank you. Like I said, from the bottom of my heart for every nice thing every one of you has said. And Shalena, thank you so much for what you gave. That was very, very, very generous and very, very kind of you. Thank you. And your response to what I can do with it was very kind too, so thank you. Um, please, like I said, uh, my PayPal link is in the chat. It will not be publicised or published to the nines like it used to be. It will be just dropped here and there. But um, just remember, you're important. You're welcome here on my chat. But if you start disrespecting, that's all it takes is one screw loose to prove there is definitely some bolts bumping around upstairs, hon. Mm, that's true. But like I said, I'm going to call it a night. And um, please, like I said, everybody here, if I see you Friday night, that'd be great. But at the same time, I don't know. Well, hang on. Actually, yeah, it probably will be Friday night because of the fact that my Friday night will be um, everywhere. So I might actually do that. And then by then, Dave's live will be on the Saturday morning or the Friday night, which will be my Saturday morning. But, yeah. Just remember, you are all, yeah, I get that. I hate it, especially underneath the breasts. I get a bit sweaty too and it's a bit disgusting. But, yeah, like I said, thank you all for being in here. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I'll be here later in the week to do another live. I might have a theme in mind, might not. See how we go. But until then, thank you so much, every single one of you, for being in here. Mwah. Love you all.